All right, and we are live. What's up, people? Good to see you all. Uh, looks like we have a good amount of people in the side chat already. Appreciate that. And uh, welcome to another episode of Foreign and Domestic. Of course, I am the foreign son of a bitch, you know, the asshole, the one that does all the, you know, dumbass chats. That's me. I could see you. And then, of course, I have my wonderful host of the mostest who is uh oddly dressed this evening but that's all right um alan b pro what's up man hey how the hell are you there scotsman everybody i'm glad uh to actually be here on time this week um i uh i i regret deeply my uh my partial absence last week uh, but i i hope to redeem myself at some point in my lifetime I think you've redeemed yourself. You're here. <laughs> and then we have another good brother, Phil M. Rivers. What's up, man? Oh, not much. How you guys doing? Uh, just enjoying the weekend here. I totally spaced on the chat, but uh, I, I got here, so I'm just glad to be here. Good to have you, man. I see you got an awesome shirt on there, too. Yeah, I, I did. I did break that out, so I figured if I'm gonna get on the chat. I may as well put that on. I uh, I don't have that one on. I have uh, my uh, warfighter tobacco shirt, which is uh, guns don't keep kill people. People with beards kill people. <laughs> <sighs> I like it. I like it a lot. That that's good. That's good. Yeah, it, it, we, we, we're, we're in definitely a heat wave here in the middle of Iowa, man. We had we had record temperatures yesterday. We had record temperatures today. It's just been absolutely scorching. Um, and me personally, I haven't complained that much because it's not fucking snow. I mean, I, I yeah, I I dress a little more oddly, but hey. It's a lot better than than all that white shit all over the ground, and yeah, uh, you know. Yeah, it's uh, ridiculously hot here too in Ohio, and uh, we were kind of the same way up until about a month and a half ago. We still had snow, so it's just ridiculously hot. Today was in the high nineties, and uh, it's just ridiculous. Wow, it's just. Sweaty ass ball weather. That's what it is. Sweaty ball weather. Yeah, it's been like it, like a light switch. We we didn't even have a season almost in between at all. It it went from the snow melt to to record temperatures in no time flat. Yeah, we we were a little different. We had uh, the typical rain and a little bit of sun here and shit ton more rain, a little bit of sun here, shit ton more rain, and then just bam, fucking 90 degrees. <laughs> the, the old saying in Ohio is it's kind of like Missouri. You, you never know what you're going to get from one minute to the next. Yeah, they um, a lot of the locals out here, when I first moved out here, they said, if you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes. Um, and you know, today was definitely one of those days that I waited 10 minute after 10 minute after 10 minute. Good God. It was just half miserable. It was definitely one of those days that I would have been much, much happier out at the lake. Yeah, but you'd probably burn out the lake too. So probably I have a lot worse off. Yeah, I haven't uh I haven't been able to turn out much in the way of videos lately. I've been doing numerous different things and um just because my channel's mostly based on firearms, um I I just haven't made any videos for it. Um spent went out to one trip and uh taught a boy to fish. Basically, he hadn't fished since he was itty bitty and didn't really even know how to fish. So I taught a boy to fish and he caught a couple of fish and he was a happy camper. And, you know, anytime, anytime that you can teach a kid 
a life skill like that, take advantage of it, man. Serious. Well, anytime you can teach anyone something, take advantage of it. It's always good, you know. Absolutely, always good. Um, I don't know. I, I got. I'm gonna do a comparison video on uh, here soon. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with this little damn camera. I'm pretty impressed with it versus this big ass camera, <laughs> uh, which I paid the same price for because um, I got a deal on this one too. But and this was a $250 camera and I got it for 75 bucks. Um, but this is the um, the Extreme HD. Um, this is one that's done by um, Spy Point has the waterproof case and all that good stuff. This thing's heavy though. I'm actually pretty impressed with this little damn camera. Um, I'm glad I got two of them because I, I was actually planning on doing something with the other one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that now or not. I'm gonna play with this one more. I may end up keeping both of them. I don't know. Yeah, I, I really, really wanted to jump on that. Um... And, and ultimately I just didn't have the monetary for it. Um, how are you, uh, it, you don't get any fisheye lens out of that sessions, do you? No, not at all. Um, and I was lucky, man. Um, I had a little bit more Intel than the average Joe, thanks to pops. And, uh, I walked into my, my local Wally world and I was not leaving, not leaving empty handed. And I was there for a good 20, almost 30 minutes. And I went through three different people and was like, look, I know they're here. Go find them. I know you got three in stock. Go find them. And they refused to sell me all three, but I managed to walk out with two. So I was pretty happy. <laughs> and I didn't have the money for it either. But you know what? It was the point of you're not going to screw me over. You're going to sell me these because I know you got them. Yeah, I was I was highly disappointed to find out. Now I with the with the intel that was put out there, um, the the local ones to me, I could have possibly come up with three of them, but all three of them were showing at one fourteen, um, and the local my local store um, was not budging off of that 114. So I'm not sure if they got the memo or not. Um, Did you have the but, right UPC? Yeah, they, were, they weren't they were budging off of that 114. The 114 was what was coming up when they hit the SKU. Um, and, and they weren't budging off of it. I'm like, look, these things are selling at 74, man. They're, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're selling at 74. And... You're yeah. like, oh no, no, no! It's coming up at one fourteen. That's as far as we're gonna go. And when when I got there, they're like, oh yeah, they're they're ninety five bucks. And the guy finally pulled it up in the system. He's like, yeah, they're ninety five dollars. I'm like, no, they're not ninety five dollars. Look again. <laughs> I dude, I I swear, I was just going back and forth with this one guy for the longest time. That's probably a good fifteen minutes with just this one guy alone. And I'm he's like, I can only sell you two. And I'm like. Go ask a manager, because I really want to have all three if I can. I, I pushed it and pushed it, but I only got the two, but I'm still pretty happy with that. Yeah, it's, it is it is amazing the legwork um, that that the Mafia does out there. Oh, it, it's, it, it's it really incredible. is. I, uh, the last time I got a uh, the hookup from Pops, I drove an hour and a half to my other Walmart way down the road and it's like one of those super Walmarts and the place was absolutely fucking jam-packed and I mean jam-packed to the teeth where you could li you literally were just bumping into everybody and I went to the ammunition department because that's what it was for it was for the 12 gauge ammo and I went up there and they supposedly had you know like 50 or 60 boxes of it and I'm like fuck I'll take them all and I go out there, and I try talking to the guy back there, and he wasn't having any of it. No, we don't have any of that. We don't have any of that. So I went and found the next the next person that looked like a manager and asked her. And they were just so fucking busy. They didn't give a shit. 
She she was the same kind of way. She's like, yeah, if, if he said we don't got it, we don't got it. I'm like, you're not going to go look in the back. I mean, literally, I'm talking about spending like 200 bucks here. You're not going to go look in the back. They, they wouldn't have any of it. That's just wrong. That's just wrong. So, and that's when you, that's when you need to have that keychain, and you lay that keychain down on the counter and say, look. But uh, see, and that with, with this particular buy, that was my thing. It's like, you know what? I got hosed the last time. It's not happening this time. I'm getting this damn deal. <laughs> well, and and you turned out the uh, the dry fire practice um, indoors there. And and clearly that video was done with that sessions. Yep, it was done with a session. And it's cool because you can get an app, put it on your phone, and control it with your phone. And that was the cool thing. I could sit there and literally hit it with my phone and keep it and see what I'm doing at the same time as I'm doing it. So it's actually pretty cool. Oh, I did not know that that was one of the features on that. Yeah, you can get the app on your phone, and then you can literally record from your phone, and you can see the entire picture as you're doing it on your phone. And and your audio was done through the camera itself as well? Yep. Yep, everything was done, just, just as it is here. I threw it on my headset that I have for my, uh, for my other camera. It's a universal system. Um, other than the screw that comes with the session, hang on, show you guys real quick. But the screw that comes with the session is just a little bit shorter. Not much, just a little bit. But it still all works together. And I bought a, hang on, I'll show it to you. I was going to do a video on it, but never got there. I bought this entire kit, which is an accessory kit for GoPro and any camera system off of Amazon for less than 20 bucks. And it literally has everything you could ever need accessory wise for any damn camera system setup. And it's literally like 20 bucks on Amazon. What all is in there? Cool. Uh, too much to name. <laughs> I mean, I, I was going to do a video on it, but I kid you not, there's so much shit in there. It'd be a 20-minute video. It'd end up like a scab video, and I'm not going to make a scab video. <laughs> well, this, uh, this, this past week on the 21st marked my one year on YouTube. Wow. Um, and, and I didn't, I didn't do a, a one year video or anything like that. Um, and, and I've got, um, to date, I'm still just under the 500 subscriber mark. I think everybody out there that has subscribed, but, um, that's, I'm not out here to gain subs. I'm not out here for, for any of that. Um, but, but yeah, as of, as of the 21st of this month, one year I've been on YouTube. Now you just said, I don't, I don't, I don't want to make a 20 minute video. My first video, um, on YouTube was actually almost 15 minutes long. Wow. I was just, I was just looking at it earlier. And uh, my first video was was almost 15 minutes long. My second video was again almost 15 minutes long. Um, I've since then cut them down significantly um, on on any of the produced content. But you know, it's funny. I got a message yesterday from another channel. He has 39 subs. I'm not going to say the name of his channel because right now he needs to learn a lesson. And he's posting the video every hour, pretty much, and they're fucking 35 plus minutes a piece. And he's wow. wondering why he doesn't have subscribers. I'm like, dude, slow your roll, do one or two a week, and make a good content and keep it at about 10 minutes or less. And he's just, I, he hasn't replied to me yet, but it's just kind of like, dude, just slow your roll. They'll, they'll come, but you got to make it where they want to come to watch it putting on a video every hour. They're not going to want to watch it. 
Yeah, I mean, numerous numerous videos an hour can be done by certain people, uh, <laughs> but numerous numerous videos a week can even be done by certain people. But if you're putting out 20, 30 minute videos, man, there's there's no way people aren't people are going to shy away from the channel. It doesn't even matter if they absolutely love the content. Uh, nobody's got that much time in their day, and if they do then they need to get a job exactly and he's he's literally i swear to god he's been doing this for two years and i looked at his channel and he had like four or five videos back from two years ago and then just in the last three weeks it's one every hour like four or five a day within an hour a piece that he's posting it's just like damn dude just whoa 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 slow your roll dude slow your roll you know i i do one or two a week that's it i any i don't have time to do more than that hell i i got so much brass to reload and fucking bullets powder you name it i ain't got time to fucking do it let them put it on video <laughs> I, I mean i just don't i just I'm I'm getting ready to go back to doing six days a week again because I just got a, I got so much shit going on at work it's not even fucking funny. I mean if you guys knew half the shit I'm dealing with right now you'd understand. But it's I, I I'm, I'm to the point where I literally have zero people at work I can trust. That's where I'm at. Oh man. So I literally have to work six days a week right now because I can't trust anyone that fucking that's there in that damn building. That's not good. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I could be, I could just fucking work seven days a week, but I just ain't got the energy right now. I just ain't got it. Yeah, I'm, it's I'm, a that, that's a pretty quick way to burn yourself out. You definitely don't want to burn yourself out, but I I, I get that. Um, you know, it's like at my job, we're we're very short handed, and I'm not getting really that much time off myself. Um, I'm really not. And, and my schedule is, is literally to the minute. Um, I, I don't have any kind of set schedule. So for me to be even try to make like a dentist appointment is like pulling teeth out of a mule. Well, like here's my thing. I I've been, I'm used to managing over 40 plus people at one time, zero issue, zero. I don't have, I have 10 fucking employees right now. And there's more fucking drama than when I was in fucking high school, for Christ's sake. With 10 fucking employees. I had 40 plus in my last job and had zero fucking issues. Zero. Yeah, I I so get that. I, I, I'm on that same page. You know, as, um, as staffing has actually become a little more scarce, it, it's become more and more and more of a problem. Um, there's only, there's only a few people that we could even think, oh, well, if this person calls in, can we call on this person? But yeah, you're, you've got a, you've got a ball of wax there for sure, brother. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the process of hiring right now so that I can get new people in and get the shit out. That's what I'm in the process of. And I'm also in the process of doing what I'm used to doing to piss people off, make people quit, which is reducing all their hours and not taking up slack. And they will fucking quit because they only want more hours and they're not going to get them. So. Well, we did have uh, armament, armament and axes join the room. I'm I'm glad that we haven't been able to make him talk yet. Yeah, um, we also <laughs> um, fucking talk. <laughs> uh just we've got we've got firearms 101 out there uh jt horton 64 loads of bacon good to see you. pops quest is out there tc corner yeah scotsman was talking about you um v borg is out there there's quite a few others it's just that's the participants list um how's it going tonight there armament I uh, went up and met the uh, crazy man himself there today at his store. Neat store, neat range. Um, Scotsman, if I live closer, maybe I'd come apply if you'd pay me enough. 
I miss working in a gun store. Um, no, I just uh, just now, right? I basically got home, come out to my shop, my computer on range after we went out to the range, sighted some back, just poured my first, and here I am. So, yeah, that's uh, that's actually a, a pretty damn sweet before. So. That's yeah. actually a pretty damn sweet facility that Scotsman's got out there. Um, I haven't been out there personally, but uh, through videos and stuff, I've been able to see it. And, man, yeah, I would absolutely love to be working in a facility like that. Uh, you, you're welcome anytime, man. I got a spare room you can have. Just make sure you stay in the fucking spare room and don't try to sneak in mine. <laughs> <laughs> But other than that, you're welcome anytime, don't, don't. dude. I got a spare room. It's all yours. Fucking have at it. Uh, you're more than welcome don't. to spend time at the range. So uh, you're saying don't. Chris, Chris don't. came up earlier. He's he's a good guy. He came up earlier. Um, he walked in, and I walk out the office, and I'm like, hey, how's it going? Can I help you? And he's like, yeah, I'm Chris. I'm like, I'm, you know, such and such. He's like, yeah, I'm Chris. I'm like, um, such and such. He's like, yeah, Armored and Axis. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could say I said, Jason. He said, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, honestly. <laughs> no, you said as long as I. Well, it's funny. The only reason that happens kind of like that is because I get so many people come rooms. in so and try to introduce themselves. And then don't, don't do the. Do, 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 is gay thing. Is it uh, is it just me or is he uh, robot? Um, Aaron, actually, dude, you are breaking up bad, bad. It was either it was either he was roboting or I'm already into the Patron pretty heavy. No, he was breaking up bad. I had to mute him. He was breaking up so damn bad. Oh, well, you were too. So, mm. um. I was it now oh. any better negative you might have to jump out and try to jump back in uh, we got the reload room out there just joined us good to see you man huh? and pex 2a america Reloading room. I haven't seen him right, before. Guys. So I um I have a serious topic. If you guys go and check the description below, one of my dear brothers in our community, um, I'm sure a lot of you know him, but one of my dear brothers, and I consider him a big part of my family out here, Scotty M nineteen fifty M fifty nine. He is a uh, got a lot going on right now he needs to raise thirty five hundred dollars to get to florida to be with his wife and his mother-in-law and help them out and be there to support them now um before anyone jumps off runs away fucking does whatever i'm just gonna throw it out there look i've had people complain with it because of all the stuff that I've done in the past, I've had messages from other people saying, you know, you do too much for this, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck. You want to unsubscribe, go unsubscribe, go eat a ball of fucking dicks. I don't care. I give a shit about the people in our community. That man served our country. Me, he's brother. And if you guys can, please help him out. And what I'm asking right now i don't have any prizes i don't have any competitions or any, anything like that going on right now what i do have is i have a paypal set up with the email address down below where you can go and send him money directly to his paypal and help him out so i'm asking each and every one of you if you can whatever you can spare help him out he needs the money to go and, and be with his wife and help his wife so please, please, please do so if you can. Yeah, the the email is now out in the side chat. Um, <laughs> Scotty M, his he's he's got a lot going on. 
Um, his, um, he's, he's a great dude. He's a great dude. And he's been burning the candle at both ends, trying to take care of business. Um, and, and he's, he's one of our brothers out here. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, the, the PayPal e email address not only is in the description, but it's also out in the side chat as well. Yeah, I, I would highly, highly appreciate it if you could. Um, you know, I, I can't right now, but the minute I can, I will. Um, and also, with that being said, there's another brother that's a couple hours down the road for me that's got issues going on, too. I'm not going to do anything on here to help him. I'm just going to help him because he's not that far from me. So you guys all know that Reloading from the Hot Pot's got a lot going on. Um, Gene's a cool guy. I've talked to him many, many times. I've met him a few times. We've hung out together. He's been up here, hung out at the range, shot the range. And uh, he's a cool guy. But he has some issues too. But I'm going to jump in and help him where I can right here in the community because he's in my area for the most part. Um, like I said, only a few hours away. But Scotty in 1959 is way out there in freaking New Jersey, and I can't do a whole lot from here. So right now, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm throwing out there. I set this up for him to help him. Um, and there may be more coming down the road, because I can tell you right now, for example, um, I was talking to Mossy earlier, too, before we went live. I'm really just digging my hammer fire guns. I'm not digging strike fire anymore. So I got a couple of striker fire pistols. I may end up doing something in order to help raise funds with that. I don't know. I'm I'm really not sure yet. But I'm only sticking with hammer fire guns. I haven't carried uh, a striker fire pistol in almost three months. You're gonna you're gonna come up with something fucking crazy like you always fucking do. That's me, brother. <laughs> That's what I do. Well, cheesy for nothing. Oh. All right, Moss, am I got to fucking ban you? <laughs> <laughs> don't make me ban you, man. I love you, dude. I love you, but don't make me ban you. Hey, don't be talking about Glocks because I might sick my MS-13 on you, or my MS-15. The, these are, by the way, folks, these are no longer called AR-15s. We are now going to refer to these style of weapons here on YouTube as MS 15s. MS 13. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, we have, these are MS 13s now. MS 13s. I don't so, know. So you know, if you, it, you you put out any videos, you're making comments, whatever. Um, the uh, the left media seems to love the MS thirteen, so let's <laughs> give them an MS thirteen. Wow! You know, you guys were talking earlier about the dude that's putting a video out, and it's real long, and it's funny because one one of my most like videos it's like thirty long or something. So. <clears throat> Dude, you're still breaking MS. up, man. Well, shit. I don't know why. Well, no, that came in perfect. I don't know. I'm on Wi-Fi. I so, you know. Uh, we got Nathan out there from the reload. Well, He's having wet dreams about a VP9. Sorry, man. Well, uh, I'm all about uh, oh. I, I, I don't know what it is lately. I do not like striker fire. I, I have a couple of them. I, I love my Beretta APX, except striker fire, but I have not carried that gun in almost three months. I don't blame you. Have you ever fired a VP9? No, but I have the equivalent in the Canic TP9, and that's actually a pretty nice gun. I just but curious. Again, I see you. I haven't even touched. I used to. I carried that for almost two years. I haven't fucking touched that gun in fucking six months. Not even fired it. Took it out and fired it. No. Oh. <laughs> Literally, all I've been carrying is is my CZs, my hammer fire guns, and my revolvers. That's all I've been carrying. That's. That's the. One. 
I said that's and the one you were wearing today. Yep. Yeah. And speaking of a CZ car carrier, welcome Character. Insight Freedom. Sorry, guys. I was watching the sunset at the Veterans Cemetery and uh, just got back in. So good to see y'all here. No, absolutely, man. Good to have you. And uh, that was a worthy cause. So don't worry about being late. That's all good, dude. Yeah. Uh, if you if you missed it, we were talking about Scotty uh, M. 1959. He's yes. got a lot of issues going on. I set up a PayPal for him so people can donate and help him out so he can get the money he needs to get down to Florida and be with his wife. Um, for those that don't know and haven't watched his video, um, it looks like his wife may have MS. There's, they still need to do more testing. Um, I know he's going to be okay with me saying this because I talk to him on a daily basis on the phone, so I'll, there's no issues there. But um, she possibly has MS. they got to do more tests. But on top of that, not only does he have that going on, but his mother-in-law, who is also out there, has a lot of issues and a lot of problems. So he has all that. And the moving costs and to get a pod to move everything he needs to move to get down there, we're looking at about $3,500 is what we need to be able to raise to help him up to get down where he needs to be. Um, and the faster we can do it, the better, obviously. But it's just whatever you guys can spare, whatever you guys can do, trust me, it will be appreciated 110%. And it's kind of funny that it happened at this time. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's kind of funny it happened at this time when we're coming upon Memorial Day for veterans. And he was 11 Bravo from 80 to 84. Um, so, you know, the guy has served our country. He is, he is done what he had to do he stepped up to the plate um the least we can do is help him out the least we hold i'm i'm definitely gonna go over and as soon as we're done here i'll if i did it now i'd be all laggy and stuff because i'd be overworking my computer but yeah i'm gonna i'll go throw him some bones that's for sure yeah we got is your six covered out there too i'm uh, Rick, I'm pretty sure I sent you a link as well, man. Uh, if not, let me know and uh, we will figure it out. Because I thought I had your email, but maybe I don't. Well, uh, in the email, I think it got kicked back for Rick. I got a, uh, was uh, undeliverable and it had Rick in there. Uh, okay. I never got that back, but that's all right. I don't know. It's weird. Sometimes I get I get them all the way out. Sometimes I don't get them. I don't know. Let's see. Just YouTube and Google screw them with us. Yeah, I'm trying to get this side shut up. But uh, in, inside, how you doing, man? Doing pretty good. It's been a been a busy, busy weekend, but a lot of good stuff so far. Really looking forward to tomorrow and taking the kids back out and talking a little bit about um, about what they're what they're seeing in the veteran cemetery and looking at some names and paying some some respect. So I, my my daughter went with me tonight, but I'm looking forward to getting them both out tomorrow. Good, awesome, man, awesome. Um, I'm not going to be working tomorrow. I'm actually off. I closed the store. Um, I want it to be open, but due to issues with various people, I decided to close it just for, to make it easy and simple. Um, I had multiple people call within the last couple of days asking we're going to be open, which sucks because I guarantee you we're going to make a ton of money, but it is what it is. However, um, I'm supposed to be meeting up with uh, Armored and Axis tomorrow and going to go blow some shit up. So, yeah. I can do that. <laughs> there you go. And, uh, yes, this camera will be being yeah, we, uh, There will be a lot of video being recorded. And, yes, we're going to blow some shit up. Yeah. 55 pounds of Binary X. Bring whatever you got if you want to. So, we'll have some fun. Uh, I'm just gonna bring a 308, dude. That's all I got. 308 and 556, five, man. 
Oh, that'll do it. It's it's the high velocity stuff, so that'll do it. So, I mean, you bring your handguns. Yeah. Dude. I've got a Honda Accord that I'd like to donate to that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can bring my handguns, man, but I ain't got no ammo, and I ain't got no money to buy ammo, and I haven't had a chance to reload any ammo, so I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, you're like me. I got lots of empty brass. <laughs> I got tons of empty brass, and I mean tons of empty brass. Yeah. Uh, just an idea. It's just a just a random idea. Forty four brass. How much you got there, Scotsman? Three thousand plus. Holy! <laughs> <laughs> what a prick. Too much shooting and not enough um, reloading. Three fifty seven. <laughs> I probably have about a thousand to fifteen hundred. Um, two two three five five six. Probably about a thousand. Uh, nine millimeter, not not even close. Probably like five hundred, maybe. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I don't uh, know. Oh, I just, I know I, I got. I'm looking at it going a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks down here. I just now found a place that would let me uh, collect brass at the range, because I've been having to buy all my damn brass, and and they're pistol only too, but. I've been every time I go, I get a little bit of brass, but I've been having to buy all my shit. And that um, the Kaleo Arms in Hawaii, they've had some pretty good prices. Uh, that's cool. But uh, um, yeah, I've I've heard about that Kaleo Arms. Um, that's that's one that I have heard of. Um, but, but yeah, if you can find a place to be able to pick up the brass, man, I mean, really, that's, that's going to be a major score other than what are you, you going to create yourself some racks to sort that shit? Or are you going to all sort that by hand? I sort it by hand. I've got, uh, I built two bottom shelves onto this bench and I've been using, uh, let me try and get something on here. I've been using these uh, I, these little, uh, I don't know what plastic container. I don't know what the hell they are, but I saw John uh, live for a while. That's what he uses. So I've been filling these things up, and uh, that's kind of the way I've been organizing it. I I kind of do the same thing. Except I drink a ton of coffee. And so I use I use the empty coffee cans. That's what I use. Yeah, me too. Those are great. Coffee yeah. cans and empty boxes from Amazon. I uh, <laughs> I got coffee cans, Ziploc bags, uh, last of uh, yeah. Right now, I, I I told you I spent like two hundred bucks last week just on nine millimeter reloading supplies, and I, that's what the press is on, and that's what I'm in. I, I just spent, I just put six hundred and fifty bucks on the credit card before this chat. Ouch! On reloading supplies. Uh, no, I just bought a gun. We were talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I really couldn't afford it, but it had to be done because I wanted this one for almost two years, and it finally popped up, and I'm like, you know what? They got six left. I got to fucking do it. I, right. it right. been out that long. I, I slapped it on oh. the credit card. So. Oh. Yeah, so the, 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 the 19X was finally experimental. Time. Clock 19, huh? Uh -huh. You, you guys will find out when it comes in. <laughs> At least if we're a good. You know job. something that gl that nineteen uh, X. If if they would have honestly, if they would have made it like the military gun that they, in other words, with a safety, then it'd be worth the price they're asking. Not that it makes it. It's a freaking nineteen or a seventeen frame, nineteen slide, whatever you know. But yeah, that, that's all they did. They took a nineteen and and then it's like whatever. And what they submitted to the military actually had a thumb safety. This doesn't. So to me, it's like, no, it's not what you submitted to the military. So get out of here. God, could you imagine the top thumb safety on a block? Block. It'd be it'd be nuts. It, 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 people's heads would explode. 
Just, I, I want to give a quick shout out. Um, someone new out there. I'm not sure who he is, but he S A just uh, donated five bucks to help out with with Scott. So thank you very much. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Yeah, that's that's excellent. I I too have not seen them out in the side chat before, um, but but that's absolutely excellent. You know, Scott Scotty M again. He's 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 a veteran, and you know he just he's a life. Life is a four letter word for a reason, and it's it's kind of biting him in the ass at the moment. Um, he's a he's a great dude in the community, and. You know, I'd like to see a smile back on that dude's face. Scotty, Scotty really is to me a brother, um, and I mean that in every sense of the damn word, and then some. I talk to him all the time, uh, text messages, phone calls. We talk at least two, three times a week. Um, dude, that that guy to me is family, one hundred percent family. There, yeah. there is not a thing I wouldn't do for that man, and that that's why I'm doing this. We have to help him out. Um, so, I wish I could do more. I, 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 I you, you guys know me. I'm a crazy motherfucker. I'll think of something. I will do something else. But for right now, this is what I got. <laughs> the PayPal friends and family is is a pretty good deal because that gets it there quickly. So what what did, did you post a link in the description here on on it, that or the, the emails in the description and uh, I know Alan posted it earlier in the side chat too. Yeah, the the email is also I just reposted it in the side chat as well. But yeah, that's uh that's the PayPal. Send it, help them out, whatever you can. Every bit helps. Um, uh, you know, he SA sent five bucks. You know what? Five bucks helps, dude. It really does. Every little bit helps. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, there are no uh, Mr. Holster shirts for man. That was discontinued. That was a limited run, so I apologize, but those are no longer available. Hey, uh, Scotsman, who designed those? Um, the guy that owns the company, Nick at Frag Out Apparel, he designed everything. I called him, talked to him. Actually, I sent him an email. Um, it was on a Sunday about a month and a half ago. And within less than an hour, he called me on my phone and was like, hell yeah, dude, I'm in. What do you want? What do you need? And we talked for a good two hours, and I went through everything, explained the channels, what we do, who we are, who Scott is, and kind of what I was looking for. And he's like, give me a day or so. Give me two, three days, and I'll have a design drew up. I kid you not, dude, I hadn't even left work and got that design back in my email. That's, a bad that's awesome. Later. And I'm like, hell yeah, dude, let's rock that out. Yeah, that's a badass design. And so the following day, that's when we did the live stream of, here we go, this is what it is. You know, and it was awesome. Absolutely awesome. I reached out uh, to him today too, um, for Scotty also, uh, but he's got a lot going on right now, so he's not able to help out. Uh, but he's actually going to do whatever he can. He did say he would look into some nonprofit organizations that help veterans, and get back to me and see if they can maybe send some money to help out too. So he's going to help out in that way. He just can't help out with the shirts and stuff because he's got a lot going on. Yeah. Which is understandable. Yeah, I, I bought mine. Got mine. Um, does he? Uh, so I can call him, and he'd do. He'd work with me for shirts for my channel if I wanted to. I, I'm sure he would. Um, I want to. I want to give a quick shout out, uh, Jaren. Um, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm probably gonna screw up your last name, man. Um, but he's a cool guy. This guy, I met him through AOK Foraging and Adventures. Uh, but Joran um, Yederberg, I'm going to say. I'm hoping that's right. I'm probably tearing it up to shit. But, dude, good to see you out in the side chat. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, I've actually I've actually seen some of his names around the AOK chats. Um, and, yeah, I'm glad to, glad to see you out here on Foreign to Domestic. 
tonight, just in case anybody doesn't know, tonight is Patron night. Oh, yeah. All right. I, I need to grab another liquid beverage because I'm all out of liquid beverages. Um, an adult beverage? <laughs> it's an adult beverage. Uh, but I will be back in just a second. I'm going to leave inside Freedom in charge. Well, guys, that's uh -oh. going to be interesting since I was trying to work PayPal here. But uh, anyway, <laughs> what what's everybody got going on? This weekend? What, what are you doing? I missed a lot of this at the beginning. What's going well, on? What, what I what I'm doing is drinking dirty bastard beer and uh, Patron and talking into a microphone. <laughs> hey, Alan. Alan, I just saw two drops. Go Cheers, off the bottom. brother. Oh, that, that was sweat. That was yeah. I, let me lick that off my computer. Excuse little, me. Little, little tequila teardrops. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do I got going this weekend? Well, let me see. I bought a cheap shotgun Friday. Went out and shot it. Um, did a bunch of freaking yard work. Sweated my butt off yesterday, and then today, um. My buddy, who he, he's a musician, um, that's how I met him. He's a guitar, but that's how I met him. The kid last year, he grew up in a very sheltered life, never fired a gun in his life. And he says, I want to learn. I want to buy a gun. I want to learn. I said, let's go. I'll teach you. I'll, you know, well, he calls me today and he says, well, I want to go here, here and here, which was Fin Feather and Fur and Lake Erie Arms. And I said, you know, I want to go see my buddy, uh, the Scotsman up at... Uh, his store we can do that too so we hit three different gun stores today but uh then we went to the range went to the range and shot but yeah tomorrow that's that's our memorial day shoot we're uh i'd imagine normally we normally on memorial day we would get together and do a shoot we do a 21 gun salute we have a flag uh, it's it's about it's about the ones that gave it you know what i'm saying but i'm, I'm sure we'll we're gonna do that tomorrow too that that'll be part of our shoot but we're definitely gonna gonna blow some stuff up tomorrow. So that's Alan, what I got going on. And then 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 back to work. Ugh. So back to reality. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um with that, I'm gonna give a toast to the veterans, those that are here that are present, and those that have passed. Class um, up, brother. In, in true tradition and true fashion of Mr. Holster to the sunny slopes a long ago. Cheers. Cheers. I did notice that uh, old Mr. Holster is uh, drinking the beverage again, so I guess things must be better for him. Yeah, Jack, on one or two a day. Well, uh, that's better than <laughs> that's better than zero. So he's doing good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. So he does, I, he I said. A link too, but uh, Ed, if you're out there, if you're not watching, uh, do to Hardale. I switched it what up. Is it? What was that? To Hardale. It's uh, another IPA. So I went from one IPA to another. You like them IPAs? I'm a lager kind yeah, of guy. I don't know. I'm drinking it out of my uh, Freedom glass. Oh, that's nice. Foreign or yeah. domestic? So am, so am I. So am I. The foreign and domestic, right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, where do I where do I get one of these glasses? Yeah, no doubt. You're not a part of the crew. <laughs> oh, whatever. Washington, whatever. I'll hook Fuck you, up, man. <laughs> yeah, if it's if it's uh, if it's at so possible, I think someone that is deserving of one of these glasses would be Phil M. Rivers. Oh, absolutely. I, I'm pretty sure I can make that happen. I'm pretty sure I can make that happen. So, uh, Phil, if you're not sure what's on these glasses or anyone else, that will probably get one of these. So you have the foreign domestic with the freedom gun. And then you'll get your name on the other side. Oh, that's badass, dude. So uh, what is that, I'm Scar? pretty sure Moss is getting hooked up. I'm pretty sure Phil's getting hooked up. Nice. I'm pretty sure everyone on this chat is getting hooked up, except for Armour and Nexus. <laughs> now you speak of Edelina, and thou shall receive. Yeah, I said too hard, <laughs> and he shows up. Shit, I said, hey, okay, party. Uh, 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 what, what, what is up? Uh, uh, uh. 
we got uh, we got storms in the area, so I don't know if I'll stay on here for much longer. I I don't know how things are going to go with this signal. Oh, but. Ed, brother, it's good to see you. <laughs> and uh, I am drinking some Two Hearted Ale, brother. Oh my! Two Hearted Ale out of the can. Good to you, brother. Ooh. Thank you for your service and cheers. Uh, cheers to you too. Let me see if I can get in here somehow. There we go. Cheers. There we are. There it is. Oh, okay. Cheers to you, Ed. Thank you very much, sir. Well, thank you guys for your support, too. We must not forget hey, that. Hey, Ed. Yeah. Wait a sec. Here comes a flyby. Does this look familiar? Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That I don't know if the messages nice. ever get through on stuff. It did come in. It took me a while to pick it up because of me being mm. out of town and my yeah my fell out of town and mom in the hospital. Literally, it was here for about four weeks before I was able to pick it up. But let me tell you what, my fiance shot it and loves it. I All shot right. it a, and I love it. The thing's actually pretty darn accurate for such a small little pistol. It shocked me. Yeah, it's fun. Thank you. That's, well, thank you. That's uh, that's awesome. I'm glad it uh, work, works very well for you. It'll fit the role. No, that was it. one that uh, Inside Freedom won from the C-Max giveaway, and that was it's that a pretty damn good revolver, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. For what it is, it's a damn good revolver. I was actually pretty impressed with those. I've seen almost zero issues with those versus a Taurus revolver. Yeah. It's impressive. Thank oh, you. crazy stuff, so. Hi, guys. Hey, Tad. Hey, okay. Hi, What's up? Hey, man. Welcome, I want to thank you so much for that package. It totally blew my mind. I know. I saw you were almost speechless. I'm like, <laughs> what the hell? I actually made her shut up. Yeah. <laughs> for Tack to be speechless, this is unheard of. I know it, right? It, it took a lot. It was just like, wow. Wow. <laughs> It's like a clown car. <laughs> Stuff just kept coming out of it. <laughs> I, had, I hadn't even finished yet. I still haven't even sent you beers yet. Beers oh, oh, hell, man. Oh, I, I, yeah, I was like, man, should I edit out some of these wows? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's, there's beer on the way as well. That was just the first package. That's all. Oh, I haven't started yet. Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, that was so we'll that was an excellent tech video to tack to see the uh, to see the expression upon your face was was absolutely priceless. Um, it, it it really shows you know a lot of the community that we have out here, but but to see the expression on your face, tack that was great. I loved it. Oh yeah, I mean you had not finished even opening it, and you're like, "Are you kidding me?" Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I. I was totally shocked. I was not expecting that at all. And, and, yeah. and yes, it is the uh, Royal Scotsman Blue. You are uh, That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I am, uh, honestly, I'm glad you like it. Honestly, I really am. I, I was trying, I wanted to do something special for you. Well, that for was you and for Brenda. Special. I really wanted to make it special, so. Yeah, that was, that was totally priceless. I, I, I thank you so much for that. I was man when we first opened up the letter and saw that in there i was like no way this has got to be a joke <laughs> and even brenda was like uh, are you kidding me yeah it was great hey tack are y'all still on the road or are you back home now no we're leaving thursday this coming thursday we're leaving this coming thursday okay yeah so I, I, I was experimenting with these and did one for my business for who I work for. And that's kind of where I got the idea. And I made ones for, for myself, for Alan. Um, and there's more coming. I'm going to actually, I got about 50 being made right now for foreign and domestic. And those will be sent out to multiple subscribers who, have sent me their their address information because um, there's a lot of people out there that have been huge supporters for both myself and Alan and um, 
I have a lot of magnets that are sitting in a box right now. I have some other magnets that are being put together. And I also have those being put together as well, which are the uh, window decals. Those are being put together right now too, where I'm going to mail out packages to all of those subscribers that have been huge supporters. And they're all going to get one of those for their, their window decal magnet one of the large foreign and domestic magnets and uh, one of the crazy Scotsman magnets and one of the original crazy Scotsman magnets as well. Hmm. All I can say is about cool. the car decals, they got to make sure those backings get really, really wet because they're, they're, they're that strong. The, the, that's how sticky they are. So get the backs really, really wet or else you're going to really mess it up. So, yeah, that's what one thing we had to figure out. Yeah, they they're they're tough. So this so the original ones, so I can show you this says six fifty one on it. Uh huh. You see that? Uh, yep. the first run that I did was on a lighter paper and they they do not stick as well. Ah. So six fifty one was the magic number. But the problem with six fifty one is is damn sticky as hell and you gotta make sure just like you said there's a little more to it yeah yeah ours, i mean they, they're, they're they're on the cars for life i believe so yeah they're not coming off nope <laughs> yeah i saw somebody with one of your magnets uh scotsman they look pretty badass it was a little rectangle magnet that they had that Look yeah, the, the wood one with the veneer, those things are looking yes. absolutely tight. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's mm -hmm. it. And so uh, you awesome. got one coming too, man. But I ha I literally have probably 50 in a box right now. And I have a whole bunch of other ones being made as well to mail off to all my supporters. So, those are that, bad ass. That looks like two yeah. cross. If you board. have not PM me your address information and you want to get one of those magnets as well as the other magnets and one of the window decals, shoot me a PM and let me know and I will make sure you get one. But they're all being put together and being made at this point in time. So hopefully here in another week, week and a half, I'll have a lot of packages going out to everybody. You uh you still got my address? I do. Okay. I said uh, that looks like two cross claymores. Is that what that is? That would be correct, sir. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Um, <laughs> uh, AOK -A -A -OK Foraging. Can you post something in the, or uh, write something in the external so we could sub, sub to your channel? I think I just did. Yeah. Oh, you, did? you posted in the internal. You got to do the external. Yeah, the, the side well, chat. I'm kind of new to this laptop, so um, let me try that. Hold on one second, guys. <laughs> you good. Take your time. Yeah, it seems like every time, because I haven't been on uh, your chat in a long time, and it's like every time it's like I, there's so many channels I wind up finding I just hadn't seen before. Hey, can I can I ask a simple question? I probably asked this buddy from what state? Just curious. Sound off. I'm from Florida. Florida. Uh, I would be from Iowa. And I am <laughs> from Iowa. Okay, you guys are in the same state. Okay. Actually, we're not that too far from each other and i just I, haven't had a, a chance to hook up with uh with tack and aok -okay, unfortunately um i'm i'm actually really looking forward to doing that because i got a bottle of moonshine that i made for you <laughs> oh, and, oh, yeah. hold on, hold on, oh hold on. You, you I, definitely I, know how to put a smile on a dude where the fuck is my moonshine Excellent. I, you know once i figure out how to send it to you you will get some <laughs> Wrap it real good. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, guys. The IPA was actually pretty good. It was very, very fruity. I'm not. I'm not a fruity IPA guy. 
Yeah, it was very, very fruity. Um, but other than that, it was good. That was my moonshine is not fruity at all. It's made from rice. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's like it's like sake. I was gonna say it's like sake. It's like sake. sake. Yeah, sake is sweeter than my moonshine though. Hmm. I, I, I love sake. So if you like sake or better than sake, I'm gonna love it. <laughs> well, well, there isn't sake more like rice? Sake, sake is, is uh, purified. Sake mm. is purified with uh, moonshine. Uh, honestly, I've never had sake, but I heard it wine. Not. Oh really oh, liquor shit, it was really? more of a wine so i i don't know oh fuck dude we're gonna hook I've you never, up and shit we're never, fucked have, it. never it's had on. it's on we're having sake it's on <laughs> there you go. after we shoot. oh yeah after of course of course well here's the thing so with sake you got to do it the right way so number one you do not drink sake cold do not it tastes like fucking shit don't do it but actually scotsman they now make cold brew sake for they, people that they like do. It. they yeah. do and if you actually take regular sake that's not meant for that yeah, it should be warm it's like fucking shit right right um it has to be heated to the correct temperature and i've got it down to a science because i've done this for so long and i've drank it for so long if you heat it up on on the stove um, on a medium heat, roughly about five to seven minutes is plenty, and that should that should be the right temperature at that point. And it should never go over 120 degrees. You're kind of poaching it. Yep, that's it. So you got you got to watch it, and that's why I say five to seven minutes because you yep. got to watch the temperature. You got to keep an eye on it. But anyways, Alan, I'll get you your uh, your Asian Thunder. We need to make uh, a make a date on that. Yeah, absolutely. I I definitely am looking forward to that, and and hopefully I can hook up with you bef uh, after the chat here. Yeah, because I have a September of 2017, a January of this year, and then next month we'll have another one. Oh, I I need the one from 17. Yeah, a lot of people like that one. That one turned out really, really nice. Age, age is always better. Yeah. But no, I do actually have a few beers coming your way here pretty soon. And I have a few other people that got beers coming to them as well. Uh, yeah. Ed's included in that one as well. I work with the guy that made us still um armin access dude you are breaking up bad bad yeah. no i was gonna say i work with a lot of a pressure to show me how he, we got to do it. um tack just to show my desperation tonight is uh patron silver night <laughs> i mean this is my level of desperation i tell oh, you Lord. i feel for you then <laughs> but here's to you though salute fantastic he's just gonna need your love and prayers from mars really is when he's gonna need them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i might have overdone it a little bit last night in nashville i had to sleep it <laughs> off today a Mossy, what are you drinking? Jim Beam. Oh. Oh. When is Mossy drinking anything but Jim Beam? <laughs> I think Mossy has stock in Jim Beam, and that's the reason oh, why. No, he no, 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 no. Jim Beam is stock in Mossy. <laughs> I wish I had stock in Jim Beam. I uh no, honestly, on these chats, uh I drink this is a forty ounce tumbler. And sometimes I'll have four or five of those a night. And so instead of drinking Jack Daniels, which is what I actually prefer, I like Jim Beam too. And it's a little 
a little bit cheaper. So for these chats and stuff, I just drink the Jim Beam. Now, Mossy, I noticed that you made your shelf just high enough to put a handle of Jim Beam underneath it. <laughs> no, actually, I made that just high enough for the outlet that's on the uh, wall. I, I actually keep my liquor on the other side of the room. By someone with a wrench, you're being called out by Vanessa Kitty. Why the little head for a shot glass? Oh, ah, yes. It, well, it's a little, it, it, it's a little skull, and and this is what I'm drinking for this month. It's it's for Cinco de Mayo. I'm you know, I'm basically uh, I'm drinking I'm drinking uh, Hispanic alcohol. In a uh, in a celebratory Cinco de Mayo glass. Uh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> hey, Mossy, you yes, like Jim Beam? Have you tried? Have you tried the Devil's Cut? I have. The Devil's Cut. Oh, good. that's good stuff. Uh, I mean, that over just over ice and let it let the ice melt a little and sip it. That is the some of the best taste in bourbon. Mm, um, good stuff. Real quick, um, let me just throw it out one more time. Um, Alan, you still have the link? Yes, I still have the email. Throw it out in the side chat for me. Um, guys, real quick, just one more time. Um, we'll get back on whatever you guys want to talk about after, but this is for Scotty uh, M1959. He needs a lot of help. We have a PayPal the emails out there. Um, Alan's going to post it here in the side chat again. It is also in the description down below. If you can, please send out some money, help him out. Um, I'm trying to raise $3,500 to help him get from New Jersey to Florida. That's the bare minimum he needs. Um, I don't have anything going on giveaway wise or anything at the moment. There may be stuff coming up in the future. I, like I said earlier in the chat, I'm kind of transitioning away from striker fire pistols, so I may put my striker fire pistols up for, essentially for sale. <laughs> um, but I don't know yet. I'm because I I'd still like my striker fire pistols, but I'm really in love with my hammer fire, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. So. We'll see. Um, but as Alan said earlier, I always come up with something crazy, and that's why I am the crazy Scotsman, because I will come up with something completely nuts and insane and ridiculously stupid and make it bigger than I can handle, because that's what I do. Um, I remember two of my favorite things is Blanton's. If I'm just going to put it over ice and sip on it, Blanton's, that stuff is awesome. And uh, Jack Daniels, Frank Sinatra, that stuff is awesome, too. I have yet to try some of that Sinatra version, man. Uh, that... I was going to say, um, you have my address, dude. You need to send me some. <laughs> I I actually have yet to find that in the store. Really? That's what I'm that. saying. Like uh, Mossy said, he had a package sure. sent me. I don't know how long ago. I still haven't received that. God. package. it's been three months. It's been Here three months. <laughs> I look because I'm like, man, when was I supposed to do? That? And I look back in my videos to see what video it was. It was three months. It's coming. Next week, it'll be out next week. Dude, dude, I'm not, I'm just fucking with you, dude. But no, when you no. send it, when, <laughs> whenever you send it, send me some of that shit, too. <laughs> this is the only bottle I've ever bought, and you can see how much is, there's still quite a bit in that. But, uh, I, was, <laughs> I ain't rich, but, uh, I did go ahead and, Buy me a bottle of it, and it is nice. No, Ooh. dude, you can literally buy me the small bottle. I really don't care. I would, I would like to try it though. Yeah, they don't come in a small bottle. I'll fill up one of my shot glasses and send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Just make sure you seal it up good. I already had one pack from, from uh, Tack and Brenda, and that 
spilled everywhere. You actually might like these shots, <laughs> the revolver. <laughs> Tack, I'm not very you. Good. I was like, not very good. It, it was good. Um, the uh, the ammo can was covered, but it's all good. What what was inside was really damn good. So thank you. I I do appreciate what you said. I'd say that revolver shot glass be pretty nice to sit in the freezer, get it cold, and then pour your uh, pour your drink you drink in there and never water it down any. <laughs> that would just be nice to sit right here on the counter, man, and have right here all the time. I I wouldn't even drink out of it. What's really nice is a uh, a nice fresh cold beer in a foreign and domestic glass. Yeah, this is true, and uh, there there are some people that will get one of these. Glad I'm one of them. That was pretty badass. Very nice. I won't have to keep my wife away from it though. No, I, I will tell you this: if, if if you have a particular gun you want instead of the firearm that is on here, which is an MS-13, if you don't want an MS-13, just let me know and I'll put a different gun on there. But MS-13 is the standard for a foreign domestic glass. Well, if you got any, you know, like an AK or a Glock, you know, that's something. something <laughs> <I have>. Glocks. <laughs> um, if you you're going to receive a box I, I, of broken glass if you want a freaking Glock. I'm pretty sure I can get you an AK, um, but Glock, no. Um, no. You have MS-13 or AK. No, I am perfectly fine. Ah. With the MS-13, right. MS-13 just fine. Hey, hey, Mossy, there's a problem with that MS-13, man. I don't think that MS-13 is very safe. No, it didn't. It didn't look like it had a magazine in it. This MS-13, on the other hand, is very, very safe. I well, guarantee you. This MS-13 is too. <clears throat> No, no, that's an it's MS. It's such an adorable little MS-13. <laughs> Ain't it though? <laughs> this thing here is awesome. That, that's a damn <laughs> This thing is fun to shoot. I like this. How big of a barrel you got on that dog? Seven and a half inches. Oh, oh. yeah. Wow. But uh, no, seriously, in all seriousness, if anyone does want one of these glasses, uh, foreign domestic with your channel name on there and the MS-13 or an AK-47, I can put either one. I'll make it happen. I'll figure it out. Let me know and uh, we'll make it happen. Now, if you're not one of my main people that show up here that I call family, um, you will pay for the glass, and I'll let you know how much it costs. But everyone else will get it for free. That's at my cost because they're family to me. So, so what you're saying is armament and access has to pay. Fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got a request from Robin Jones there for one. Uh, Robin, you you qualify, so just. Shoot me your info and I'll get you one. Yeah, Robin is Robin is great people, man. Robin is great people for sure. If you haven't uh, checked out Robin's channel, go please go over and check her out, man. Um, you also yeah. have uh, I'm, 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 I'm the black sheep. And he wants to order. Hey, uh, Damn, I, I guess I got to put up a store. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Catherine, hey, some people are asking hey, how to hey, order it tomorrow. Gun wild so. wants to know how much. Um, honestly, if with everything I have in the glasses, and the time, the printing, and everything else, the cheapest I can do is probably about twelve bucks plus shipping. That's a deal. Yeah. That's a deal. Freaking great deal. I mean, you cannot see it because of how dark my beer is. Um, but you can with see your my, channel my name, lighter. I'm drinking the IPA, so you can kind of see it better. But that is the foreign domestic with the MS-13, and whatever you want on the other side. Of course, I have 
my channel name and Alan has his channel name on his um, but whatever you want on the other side just let me know if you want one I'll hook you up um, if you want to buy one I would appreciate it because trust me it'll help me out but uh, about the cheapest it is it's probably not. about 12 bucks plus shipping so so you're telling me it's gonna cost me about twenty five dollars plus shipping, right? Just uh, no, you're about fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll hand deliver it. Uh, Alan, what are you drinking that's so dark? Uh this evening I am drinking the uh, dirty bastard, actually. The dirty bastard by Foster's there uh Founders. Not Foster's. Founders, uh, sorry, uh, Freudian slip because, well, Patron. Um, and, and also, on top of the uh, Dirty Bastard, it is the Patron Silver. Oh my. And in the morning, we'll be drinking the Bloody Mary. <laughs> um, I, I'm just going to, just, just real quick, um, Vanessa Kitty's out there, and she said she would gladly donate more than that to help out. I cannot say how much I appreciate that. Really, that's awesome. Um, I'm not here to make money. I'm not. Never have been. Don't care. I'm here to make friends and have family, and that's what this is. Everyone here on this panel, to me, is family. Um, TAC, uh, AOK Thargen, trust me. I, I met her through you know, uh, Brandon, Bird CBA, too. But... We've connected pretty good, and trust me, everyone here on this panel is family. Well, and and Vanessa Kitty, I got to tell you, we got a lot of love for you. Um, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You clearly have a blue wrench from the Scotsman. Um, at any time, at any time you see me live and you jump into one of my chats, you will also get a blue wrench. That's the only way people. That's the only way people get blue wrenches from me is is if you jump in during my live chats and i will tell you right now the reason vanessa kitty has a rag is vanessa kitty is just like me vanessa kitty is 44 and 357 big boy baby and she will promote it every damn day of the week and that's why she has a wrench uh, I went to her she channel. Yeah. Well, once I figure out how to do a wrench, I'll be sure you get one too, Vanessa. Because my first live stream, she just jumped in there and she's bad. Did you guys know that she's two times my size? Like two times. Yeah, Vanessa's a girl. Um, I met Vanessa through Hank Strange. That was the first. She has a rare. 19 less too much of it and that's a coonan it's a no she she is she is proud big, of it. big blur or nothing she is the 629 nope. 44 mag every damn day the yep. only other thing that she carries which is her backup is the 357 coonan which yep. i nationally respect her for that too that is insanely awesome and that's why she has a wrench that'd be <laughs> Yes, Girl. Vanessa. Um, I saw your email. Uh, yes, I will send you an email, and uh, we'll we'll talk. We'll talk. I'll I'll hook you up. I'll get you taken care of. And Tack, we're avoiding the short joke since you set yourself up for a big uh, big volley there. So. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's it. funny. Um, Vanessa is almost as tall as me. That's nuts, man. That's nuts. That, and oh, you're a damn beam pole. You're just like this freaking two by four. <laughs> but that's, that's a practical bill. <laughs> less wind resistance, I right, right? Odds behind trees easily. There you go. I say this when I when I met him today. When I met him today, I was like. Oh, me and he's skinny like me, so yeah, we're built about the same. He's just a little taller, so you never see anything but an arm with a big 44 magnum sticking out around, then you're gone. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, so, uh, is, does Vanessa have any plans on putting out any videos? 
Probably not, but Vanessa, uh, Vanessa Kitty's in in a lot of different circles. Um, definitely, definitely gets around good people. I've been in in live chats with her, um, and and just really good people, man. Um, so real quick, uh, Ed uh, just sent me a message. He's uh, and, and yes, I have my flag on my phone too, just so you know. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, I am. Ed, Ed has got some bad storms going on, um, so keep Ed in your prayers. Um, but Ed's having some bad storms, so he had to jump off. Won't be able to jump back in. So yeah, I got a lot of love for for Ed Alyssa there. Um, or Ed, Ed, Edulina, Edulina, Edulina. Yes, thank you, thank you. Vanessa <laughs> um, Kitty, uh, see, uh, my videos are mathematic. Yeah, that would be over my head, but I sub you anyway. Just in case you well, decide to do a gun video. I, I can tell you this. Vanessa Kitty is a mathematic teacher. Um, she, she was, uh, she's former Air Force um, that she, she teaches mathematics. Um, she's a good girl, man. And like you said, uh, Alan, I've seen her all over the place. I first seen her in Hank's chat and I, I just, I see her everywhere. And I said, they hello, man. And pro 2A, man. God. I love it. We need more gals that are pro 2A, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. There's no lying, uh, no doubt about that the female demographic is the largest growing demographic in the 2A community. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, how, how we get them involved and how we get them ingrained into the community, I don't know how we do it. So I, I can tell you kind of some of the stuff that I do and what we do in my business is I have someone who's an instructor who's a woman who brings in a group that she does on her own and we sponsor her at the same time. So she's bringing more and more ladies every, every week, every month. And on top of that, she also does what's called the well-armed woman. Well, the well-armed woman is a movement to talk about women carrying and, and having that concealed carry permit. Um, so she does both things. She does the one thing for us, and then she does the other thing for her on the other on the side. And so she has both of those going on every month, and that's twice a month. Um, but that draws a <laughs> lot of women in. And the other thing that we do, too, is we do leagues, we do different shoots, and we have the women's league and things like that, and that brings them in also. Um, but between women and the youth alone, it is probably one of the biggest untouched markets, and I mean untouched markets, of the firearms community. And... To me, it's something that's pretty huge because I'm all about teaching people. And when it when it comes to guns, yes, I can teach you the basics. I'm not going to say I'm a proficient teacher. I'm never going to claim that ever, ever, ever. Never claim I'm a proficient teacher. I can teach you the basics and give you some good pointers. Now, if you want to learn how to kill someone with your fists, come see me. I'll teach you how to do that. <laughs> now, with a gun, I can teach you the basics, but other than that, yeah, I'm not proficient. I I, I know enough to do what I got to do if I have to. Well, um, it's it's a lot easier to kill somebody with a gun than it is your hands. Well, yes and no. Even it's, it's it's the great equalizer. You twenty pound person against a three hundred pound person that's you know, no. I, I, I kind of I agree with you, but I disagree with you because mm -hmm. it's kind of the 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 Jack and the Beanstalk kind of thing. And what I mean by that is it's, um, you know, fucking Goliath and minuscule. You know, yeah. David. 
there's there, there's quiet, a definitive yeah. line. The, the 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 smaller person can take down Goliath if they know the right points to strike. Hey, I'm trying to show uh, this hat to Vanessa Kitty. Vanessa, can you see that? Woo! The well armed love it. I love it. Talk, talk again, Zach. Talk again. Okay, Vanessa, can you see that? And thank you so much for your service, Vanessa. I knew that she was in the service before. Yep, yep. She served. She she is definitely one served, and she's 15 awesome. Fifteen years. He's she big for years. She's big for or nothing. So she earned my respect. That's why she has a blue wrench. Oh yeah, most definitely. So I am yeah. drinking a uh, dragon's milk. A, a subscriber sent me dragon's milk. That's a nice beer. There you yeah. go. Was that was that nitro or non nitro? It says bourbon barrel aged stout. That's all I know. On a bottle. In a bottle. Yeah, it's non nitro then. No. Okay. That that's better. That's better. You don't want nitro. Nitro sucks, so you're good. Okay. Yeah. I'm just starting the craft beer stuff though. That's from somewhere in Michigan. I can't remember the name, but it's, it's New Holland Brewery. Yeah, New Holland, Michigan. And oh. uh, Vanessa says she was a staff sergeant. So Vanessa, that that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Thank you. I, I've thanked you before for your service, but I thank you again. Um, yes. it is that kind of time. I'm raising my glass to you, Vanessa. Um, I, I, I'm wearing my shirt that, you know, as Warfighter Tobacco, a veteran-owned company, has the flag, obviously has the Warfighter Tobacco symbol. And remember, guns don't kill, kill people. Guys with beards kill people. Is that another flag yeah, option? Right. It is, it is not. This is the uh, Warfighter Tobacco. This is a cigar company that I buy cigars from. Yeah. They are a veteran-owned company. Um they're pretty cool. They do a good job. I like this stuff. And uh, I just thought it was badass because, you know, you got a beard, you kill people. You have a gun, you don't kill people. Uh, that, is, that is an absolutely badass shirt. I'm going to have to look up a Warfighter Tobacco. They they mostly do cigars then. They're, they're a cigar company, and then they have T-shirts and other merchandise on the side. And I bought this because I'm looking at it just kind of like, you know, I bought so many cigars from them. It's like... Hold on, let me see what shirts they got. They got one that says just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's fucking perfect. It's like a five five six bullet and it's just the tip. That's a promise. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, guys. Yeah. I and, and then they have this one. Wow. The only thing is, all right, so I'm not a big fan of red. I it looks shitty on me. I'd rather have black or royal blue, of course. Uh, but unfortunately, they only sell this shirt in red. But it is a badass shirt, and it has, you know, guns don't kill people. People with beards kill people. So be careful of people with beards. All righty, then. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, I'm going to say this. Um, we're talking about Vanessa. Um, I can tell you this, that I know that she uh, she was hit by a car. She was crossing the street, car hit her messed her all up she's got all kinds of pins and rods and she's still going though she she told she explained the whole thing to me and it's like holy crap you're freaking cyborg <laughs> so that i'm just yeah she's she's a good girl man i just i thought i'd throw it out there um red don't look good on you nothing you does. don't like red <laughs> Nothing looks good on the Scotsman. Nothing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop, 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 stop. There, there you go. Now I look better. Now I look better. Oh. I love it. I didn't say it. Alan said it, but you know. Now I look better. You're welcome, and thank you, and everyone else out there in side chat, thank you. You're welcome, and yes, there you go. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um yeah, uh, insight. Did you have something going on there, 
Well, uh, my, my fiance is in and it's kind of rude if I stay up here and chat is as much as I love all of you. And, and that's not humble, but it's just I love all of you. So I love well, everybody I, I on here. Y'all are all my brothers. Uh, I've got to get out of here because the longer I stay up here, probably the matter I'm going to make her. She told me to come up here and chat. I did it, but I wanted to see y'all before Memorial uh, Day. In the morning. All right, I, I appreciate what you did today, sir. Um, and, and just you telling me what you did today gave me chills. Thank you very much for doing that. I wish I would have had the opportunity myself. Oh, it's all inspiring when you sit there in front of those rows and rows and rows of headstones and you look around, you see some that have served in so many different wars, but you also see a lot of 18, 19, 20 year olds that, you know, you know, you know that their life ended way too soon doing what we have to have done to keep us free and to keep people free around the world, you know, so it's, uh, it's hard. It's a hard thing to do, but I want my kids to know what, what that day is and not to be confused by it. So anyway, no. thank you. And thank all of you in the side chat. I've really enjoyed this, but I'm checking out for now and I will see you back on here later. Uh, brother. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Good thank to you. see you, man. Um, yep. Give me a show tomorrow, man. We'll talk. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. Thank, thank you, Insight. I can tell you this. I have a cemetery, like, not uh, uh, about a half a mile, if that, through the, the yeah. two-thirds yeah. of a mile away from me, and it's full of, full of veterans that died, full of veterans that survived war and then died later, but, you know, you like you said, a lot of these people... 18 years old they had their whole life ahead of them think, yes think really think about how many people died in world war ii that they were kids they were just kids yeah. yes yeah and, and my fiance was blown away by it because really that cemetery the new middle tennessee veteran cemetery is five miles from me and it it hadn't been there maybe 18 years and you would just be amazed at the number of headstones in there yeah. already I'll, I'll yep. do a video and show some pictures of it tomorrow just so people can kind of have something to look at and, and think about. So, again, thank all of you, and I look forward to seeing you back here on YouTube. Hey, thank Scott, you. you. Thanks for jumping in, Insight. Yeah. Scott, Scott, you, I, want, I wanted you to know how much you personally touched me today because my father was one of the 22. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. The Vietnam War hit him hard. He came back with it. I mean, so ingrained with him. And then one night I heard the shot and I lost my father, you know. So what you did and everything, it touched me very much. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. And I thought about you while I was there because, you know, a lot of this is, is the, 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 the ones that died in battle. But that PTSD, you know, and the, all this stuff for Justin's final mission, that is carry over from war. It is I was, was going to say, um, guys, since we're bringing this up and, and tech, thank you. I, that's, I, I know it's a tough situation, but thank you for, for, for bringing that up. Um, Justin's final mission is huge. He bowed me, um, and all those guys, and those are family to me personally. They are family, Eric, Joey, even though Joey's a fucking asshole. I mean, fucking New York son of a bitch. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. And then you got everyone else in there that, that does this stuff, the Hornet Fixer. And there's so many people. And we all collaborate together. And we do this to, to raise funds to help stop the veteran suicide. So jump over, if you would. Please, please, please jump over and see Eric over at the Ebomi channel. And help out with Justin's final mission. Help out with a youth getaway. Um, right now we have a 20 gauge shotgun from TriStar. Um, TriStar was nice enough to sell that to me at cost. I bought it myself and donated it to the cause. Um, CZ was nice enough to donate right off the bat without any cost whatsoever. They donated the 512 uh, semi automatic um, 22. Uh, we have the 22 um, single uh, shot bolt action rifle in there from uh, Stalker Steve. 
Um, I tried to send him money for that gun because he contacted me and asked me to find it for him. I found it. I sent him half the money. He didn't take the damn money, and then he sent me a message saying, dude, just get the damn money. I'm like, you asshole. <laughs> um, but we have that. We have a 22 heritage right, revolver, and we have multiple other things in there as well. There's so much. The thing is huge. Yeah. You. The Heritage Revolver and the Beretta Nano are the two are the two pistols in there. So yeah, yeah. or Neo the Beretta Nano. I sent that out to Eric as well. Um, yeah, there, there's just a huge, huge thing going on right now to help our veterans, to help those that have served. So please, 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 if you can, jump over and help out with Justice Foundation. Um, inside, I know you're jumping out, so go ahead, do whatever you got to yeah. do. Jump and off. thank you, and thank all the side check. It's, it's always good to be among friends who know what to borrow means. So again, thank you all. Bye. Thank you, brother. Thank you. See you. Brother. See you. you guys see that? The wife jumped in. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hey, Brenda. Brenda, how Hello. are you doing? Uh, doing good. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm there. Glad. She is. Uh, I've been looking for her all night long. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I, got honored I was the first person e that was able to get you e Alan. To put <laughs> something on your truck. I'm, I'm kicking her off. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> hey, it's yeah, good man. hanging out with you guys, man. It, it is. It's uh, honestly, I'm, I'm finding out that, um, you know, I'm meeting a lot of people, you know, going up and meet the Scotsman and dude, when we met and he, I said who I was, it was like, brother, Hi, brother. Are you? It just, it's crazy. That just, you need to go on. Yeah. the pe people you meet in this way. And when you finally do meet in person, how much you really understand how much you got in common and and i'm telling you right now the scotsman i was telling my younger friend that i've been teaching shooting about him and i said look this guy does a very profitable uh, uh promotional thing for uh charity for i i told him about mr holster and i said he's he's all about helping and and i it's it's i'm just i'm just happy to know y'all i really am I'm happy to know all you people. So. Uh, now, now, with that said, I'd just like to say the Scotsman is a fucking weasel. <laughs> oh, he did. He did. He did. Hold on, let me stop. Let me stop you right there. I'm a fucking asshole. Get it right. I'm a fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> um, Armament, you, you know, you got a real good point there. Um, as far as meeting people here, I, I got to meet Scotsman at the farm. But before that, I got invited to the farm and to meet, you know, John at Live for Wild, um, Blue 823, TR Prepper, Pops Quest, Coda Boy 32, and so many others. Um, it's weird. It really is to, to walk up and just see, meet these people for the first time that, you know, you've had some interaction online and stuff, but it is so cool to get to meet. I drove up to Eric's. So I drove from Ohio to Minnesota. Wow. And, and went right to his house. Never fucking met the guy. <laughs> Other than through YouTube and talking to him on YouTube. And I drove my ass all the way up there and met a whole bunch of other people too while I was there. But I'd already talked to them too. And it's, it's so cool. It is absolutely freaking insanely awesome because everyone that I've met here, uh, when I went to Eric's and met everyone there, when I drove down and met Daniel, uh, when I drove down to the farm and I met Mossy, uh, John, left for a while, and so many other people, Silent Bob, TR Prepper, um, Rich 1911, Rich 223, whatever the fuck he calls himself these days. SoCal. <laughs> you know, SoCal. It, it was just amazing to meet these people. And it's kind of funny because everyone kind of get, gets the – and it, 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 it's funny when you say it, but everyone gets that kind of like California thing or that Hollywood thing where, 
oh shit, I just met this guy. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's it's, it's, that's how it happens. It's like, oh shit, I just met this guy. I just shook his hand. Holy crap, I just shook his hand. Holy crap, I just shook his hand. But, they get starstruck. They get starstruck. And and yeah, honestly, we're thing. we're not stu- we're not that's stars. Is we're, we're dudes. Not stars. We're just people. We're dudes. We're dudes hanging out online, and you know, if we're people are watching, people, that's, that's great. It. Yeah, and it, it's so cool to to meet these people. Um, you know, Gumwald's out there too, and Gumwald is an awesome brother. Um, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him yet, but trust me, when I do, I'm probably gonna be the same way. They're like, "Holy fuck, I'm meeting Gumwald, dude!" Thank, you. hey, what's up, brother? How you doing, dude? <laughs> Yeah. That's just what happens. I, I would definitely be the same way meeting Gun Wild. I mean, I that's that's one motherfucker I would love to shake his hand. Yeah, yeah, well, no doubt. Y'all just go to Allen's house and just have a fucking gun day. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it's just like when uh, John and, and Silent Bob showed up at my place. They drove right up here and to pick me up to go to the farm, and they get out the truck. It's kind of like. Holy shit, I'm shaking John's hand. Holy shit, that's Silent Bob. <laughs> what do you think, Alan? We all just show up at your place. Show up at the Scotsman and razz him or what? <laughs> well, I said we should all just go to Alan's place. Since he oh, has we can make that happen. Out. We can make I'm, I'm, that happen. Uh, Tack, I can text you the address. Um, everyone else on here, I will have I have everyone. I'll, I'll bring my own and I'll just bring moonshine while we're there. Oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm really easy to find because I live right above a bar, right in the middle of town. <laughs> <laughs> Good place to be. Hey, Al, Al, uh, where'd you say you live in Iowa? Uh, right in the center of Iowa, basically. I, I live right in the center of Iowa. Isn't Brownell's headquarters? Isn't Brownell's headquarters right in Iowa? I thought they were in Iowa. That's an hour from me. So what? An hour and a half from you, Alan? You, Alan? Yeah, about that. About that. Yeah. Um, real quick, I, I want to give a shout out. I went and checked my, my P.O. box and, um, uh, when I went and checked my P.O. box, I had this. And if you guys don't know Bat Jack JW, he's a pretty awesome dude. Um, this guy is one of the main guys that got me started in what I do here on YouTube. So I got the signed uh, card from him. And he sent me a ladder also with this card as well as... That's right here, stamped, Bat Jack JW ten thousand subs, which is pretty cool. What is that? What is that? But what is that? It's kind of like uh, crushed pennies, almost. Oh, okay. yeah, it kind of looks like a flattened out penny. That's what it, it's basically like two or three flattened pennies with uh, Bat Jack JW ten thousand subs. That's flattened. Out. Out old pennies when they were still made out of yeah. and copper and for plate. It, right? It's pretty cool. And he sent me the card, the postcard signed. But he also sent me a letter. And on the letter, he said, "You know, dude, I'm I'm sorry. It's been so long. I didn't I haven't sent you the package yet, but I have another package coming your way." And cool. dude, this alone was pretty fucking awesome. So. I don't know what the fuck coming in the mail, but holy shit, that was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> I mean, I, I, dude, I don't ask anyone for anything, so shit like this, dude, I'm happy with this. Like this, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put double sided tape, stick this on my damn reloading bench. It's gonna go with everyone else that's on there, and I call that reloading bench of fame. Guess what? He's on the reloading bench of fame. <laughs> that's that's absolutely awesome. I I just hung another United States flag right here. Um, those that have seen before, what you normally see right there is <laughs> not quite a United States flag. 
Um, I do have an, another United States flag on the other side that you can't see from this perspective. But what's behind that Templar flag right there is a sticker board. And so anybody that wants to send me their channel stickers and get onto their sticker board and I will reveal that sticker board later, I will take the Templar flag I off and everybody's stickers can be seen. Yeah. You want to send me those? Go ahead and PM me. And I will more than happy put your stickers onto my sticker board, and that will be part of my normal backdrop. Um, uh, I got a question for well, all of you guys. Um, for your stickers and your magnets. Um, John, over at Live for Wild, he might well you see the little acorn there he did that for me with a, a reloading book to a log to log all my stuff in i was thinking about doing a sticker maybe a magnet where do y'all go to do that stuff um all right before anyone else says a word mossy i will get you taken care of so don't say another word i will hook you up <laughs> there you go go with scotsman that's what i tell you go with scotsman <laughs> yeah, the Scotsman's well, got the hookup, man. You're all I, good. I, I I have someone that I literally buy the stuff and they make it for me. Doesn't cost me any more money than what I pay for the actual materials. Um, they don't charge me for time or anything like that. It's just I pay for materials. They make it for me and give it to me, and I send it out. So, damn. Um, damn. So when I say I can sell them for about twelve dollars for like the glasses, about twelve bucks a piece, that's roughly I'm maybe making a buck, two bucks tops. If I was to sell them for about twelve bucks a piece, I'm maybe making two dollars. Um, hey, so, uh, so 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 who who makes them for you? Because I I have no I have no swag for my channel yet. I gotta I gotta get ads and stickers and. Uh, if you want them, dude, just send me a PDF document or whatever you have of your logo, and I'll get them made for you, dude. Oh, might have to work on that. I yeah. can do it. I just have to have some kind of document with your logo and I can make it happen. Cool. Well, I cool. appreciate that, man. So that, that's yeah, easy. That's I, just, easy. I just have to have that small piece like ads. Mm -hmm. uh, ads Ed back. Ed was cool. easy. I fucking just Googled Ed shit, fucking stole it from Ed and then sent Ed his magnets. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, holy fucking shit, I got all these magnets. <laughs> yep. They add very true. And if if Ed. you need more ads, you just let me know, dude. I'll hook you up, man. I got you, brother. What you drinking, okay. Ed? What you drinking? Too Ed? hard to nail right now. He's he's like me. He's got the too hard going right here, dude. Too hard to nail. Yeah. I just yeah, did it. Like, Go ahead. I do the uh, the uh, you know like uh, Bud Light or you know something like that when, but I'm off tomorrow, so. Beer, Bud Light and Bush Light is like beer flavored water, but I honestly I I've, I've gotten to the point I just drink whiskey and if if I want to just hang out and have fun I want to drink beer I I I can't drink cheap beer anymore I just can't I mean it's just I, I got to drink good beer I, <laughs> Scott I, Scotsman knows about Great Lakes Brewery and Great Lakes. Has some really good beer, and I really like. I, I have not been beer. able to drink cheap beer in forever, and I mean forever. Yeah, like, I love yeah. They, they, cheap they, beer, cheap like beer me, and me, if, beer. I, if I drink, if I even attempt to drink cheap beer, my stomach goes, "What the fuck are you doing?" and goes up like this, 
And then I'm fucking laying on the floor going, holy fucking shit. What the fuck? <laughs> now, beer, beer itself has always given me a hangover. But the fact of the matter is, is that when you, de- when you drink decent beer, it's not that bad. It's really right. not. If you drink Bud Light or, you know, Lord forbid, Bush Light, um, that's going to, that, that's like, you know, drinking urine. Well, <laughs> so, so, so what you, well, got there, you got a, you got a founders there, Alan? Yeah, right now, right now, what I'm dirty uh, bastard doing is the ale. founders, the, uh, the dirty bastard. Oh yeah. Had to go with a dirty bastard this evening. The dirty <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Try their, uh, try their porter too. They got a good one there. Founders Porter. Well, yeah, I think the Porter is very nice. That Porter's very nice. And and the um, uh, I, I, you know, I guess the, I gotta stop everybody because someone out there that has a wrench and I have mass respect for just stepped up to the plate. And yes, I, I'm drinking one of those ones that you would call a flavored water. Um, but Vanessa Kitty. Yes, stop. Stop. Stop drinking imitation beers. Uh, that flavored, flavored waters. And get your damn stout. Well, Vanessa, normally I would drink a stout. Right now I'm drinking uh, IPA just because it is that time. And my brother, um, Ed, is here. And <laughs> I picked this up specially for Ed. So... Yeah, I, I like the barley wines too. The stouts are good. The barley wines. The uh, what are you drinking, Phil? Uh, yeah, I need to try more of the barley wines. I had the uh, oh, I love barley. Barry Monks barley by Weibacher, and the Bar- barley too. wine's yeah. fucking awesome, dude. Mm. And then I had some SoCal with it too. Um, Ed, Ed I'll Ooh. send you a couple of barley wines, man. Cool. I, I got a couple out here that are mm, yeah, I, um, fucking phenomenal. I, I, I tell you this, yeah, man. I, I've, I worked uh, construction. You know, I, I drive a dump truck in construction industry, and we, like, balls to the wall in the summer. In the winter, it's, like, slow down. But um, a lot of the guys I work with, you know, they drink, cheap beer it's like oh slam 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 and they'd bush light bush bud light slam 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 and it's like uh yeah i did that for a minute but i've gotten to the point that if i'm gonna drink beer it's gonna be good flavored one way yeah it's if you're gonna drink bush light or bud light it's it's to slam them to get drunk you know what yeah. I mean? It's and, it's and not for the flavor. And it's kind of, and the only person that is welcome on my chat that does that shit is John Solar two eighty three. <laughs> there is no one else. Let, let, let me stop say. you. Let me stop you. Let me stop you there, Scott, <laughs> just for a second, because the thing that he drinks is almost not considered beer. No, yeah. it, it's what is, is it? Old Milwaukee. It, it's straight fucking piss water. It's fucking PBR. It's piss water. But I respect the living shit out of, of John Solar for what he does for better than everything else that he does. That wasn't so, bad. So when John, I was seven Solar, John Solar, even though he drinks fucking piss water, he gets a pass because of the things that he does. So what about what about old Dutch? Come on, little brown oh, bottle, sorry. old Dutch. <laughs> I'm gonna have to boot you the fuck off of here, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just. <laughs> you, you're I'm throwing out over the line, man. I'm Watch the really... line, dude. Watch I'm, that I'm, line. That's, that's really I'm... straggling the line there. Uh, I know it. I'm, I'm throwing out random shitty beers. <laughs> you gotta watch it, dude. Like in John um, Solar, John Solar is like right there, man. But John Solar does so much for the veterans, for those that have served, for those that have fallen. He do, he does so so much that. Yep. I I don't care what fucking shitty ass beer he drinks. The man gets a fucking pass on my channel. Yeah, I love that. I, I, I love agree. Death and I can't wait 
And I mean this with every sincerity that I have. And I don't have a fucking heart, but with every sincerity that I have, I can't wait to shake that man's hand and thank him for everything. And I mean everything that man has done. Hey, Scotsman. Mm -hmm. Scotsman, you said, I don't have a heart. Well, say what you want, but you do. Yep. You, uh, I don't know. PBRs were good you, when I was ten. You, you know. can <laughs> you get out to be. Well, yeah. This, when when you're young, cheap is as much as anything else. But you know, yeah. once you grow, you go. Well, what this beer tastes like drink? shit. Yeah, yeah and this beer it, tastes it, really good. Funny. And and I bring this up just because I, I Chris came up and met me earlier, but. Chris is like, hey, how old are you? And I'm like, I told him, and he's like, you're just a fucking young ass motherfucker. I'm like, dude, I didn't, I, I didn't like, dude, say young ass like, motherfucker. I can tell you everything you would ever want to know from this Smith to this fucking Smith. I just, when you, if there's anything you want to know about a gun, I can tell you about it. So don't I didn't, tell me I'm didn't, young because I fucking know I everything else you want to fucking know. <laughs> I didn't say you were a young ass motherfucker. I just said, "How old are you?" And you told me, "I went youngin." <laughs> That's all I said was youngin. <laughs> no, I said youngin. He is. And he exactly is. The fact exactly of the matter, is, Scotsman, yeah. you're a fucking young ass fucking dude in a badass fucking industry in a fucking awesome fucking position in the industry with fucking yep. contacts like fucking no tomorrow. You're 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 a fucking badass fucking dude that does yep. a fucking ton for our community. Mm -hmm. I, I I can't I can't accept that, dude. All I I just do what I fucking can, man. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah, you do whatever. It. All I do is I do what I can, and that's it. And well, again, you know, like so for, for Scotty, um, I I kid you not. I, I talk to Scotty all the time, and Scotty is I, – I relate to him more than anyone else. Um, I haven't talked to Razor on the phone yet. Um, I do have Razor's phone number. Uh, but Scotty is someone I consider a dear brother and someone to me who is a dear family member. Um, I've talked to him so many times on the phone. And he told me something today that that kind of made me sad and upset. And it's hard for me to get that way. And it is because I'm an asshole and I really don't have a fucking heart, no matter how much you assholes fucking say I do. <laughs> uh, he, he told me, and he's probably going to kick my ass for saying this, but he's got to break my knees first because – He's this tall and I'm this tall. Um, <laughs> he, he told me the day that hey, why the little guy, watch out for the little guy. He, he told me the day that he literally drank himself to sleep yesterday. Well, and shit, I do that all the time. No, and I, I mean to the point where it was bad. And uh, that's not good, guys. It's not good. Not he, he's in a bad place. He's got a lot going on. And this is why we're doing this. And this is why this chat's out there tonight. And that's why there's a link down below in the, in the description. And I know Alan's thrown it out there a few times. But, Alan, if you would, please toss it out there one more time. Working on it. Um, but whatever we can do to help him out and send him a little bit of money to help him get where he needs to be, which is in Florida, with his wife, who could have the possibility of MS, um, that is a, a huge, huge thing. Um, guys, I grew up when I was a kid, I grew up working with disabled people. I grew up with M people, uh, with MS, um, with various disabilities. That's what I did when I was a kid. I didn't grow up and just as the average fucking kid, I actually grew up working with my mother helping people in old age that had MS, that had uh, dementia, all that shit. I, that's what I did when I was a kid. I haven't even hit the fucking farm yet. I hit the farm when I was 12. 
and I work for an XSAS. So that tells you a little bit about me right there. But beforehand, I did what I had to do and help these people that had MS, that had dementia, that had all these other problems. That's what we do. Hospice. You know, my, my mother taught me right. My mother gave me a, a fucking way of life. And for whatever dumbass reason, this fucking ugly son of a bitch fucking still sticks to it. <laughs> You know, I, I literally have followed that path. I, I jumped into the farm. I worked for the guy in the farm for six years, XSAS. He whooped my ass. He whooped my ass, and he taught me everything that I am today. Well, he, he taught you the basics of virtues that the the right and wrong the golden rule the uh yeah I, I, I didn't work for him for more than two weeks and i had my ass whooped whooped yeah it's part of what's wrong with this country today oh well, yeah. yeah you think you think bunch of no, that's stuff. that's it i'm sorry but i'm all about ass whoopings i'm all about it. well i you know something i'm telling you that the i'm I've been saying this about you today, Scotsman. You told me how old you were, and I went, youngin. I didn't say you young ass motherfucker. I just looked at you and I went, you youngin. And this is the thing, man. I'm going to be 52 this year. And I, I yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> back, back in the day, back in the day, man, it, it was so different. It just, oh my God, it's, I, I, I've been saying this a uh, high school and following politics that progressive liberalism will be the downfall of our society if we uh, continue yeah. to let progressive liberalism control us it will be the downfall and, and that's it uh gun, gun wilds out there and gun wilds said that he taught me how to be a decent human being Gone wild. That's exactly it, man. Um, he he taught me how to live. He taught me what respect is. And I've been in martial arts for most of my entire life, and I didn't get it. I really didn't fucking get it. I didn't get it until almost ten years ago. Um, I got a good slap in the face when I worked for this guy. I really did. He taught me so many different things. And when I moved here to America, and the first couple of years for me was tough. I went through a lot of shit, dealt with a lot of shit. Um, but when I moved to another state and got back into martial arts, I learned so many different things so fast and it developed me to the person I am today. Um, if, if you want to get to titles and stuff like that, if you go by what my title is, my title is Udishi. That's what I'm, that's what my title is. And what Udishi stands for is, is basically the person that is set to take charge of that particular institution. So my teacher is training me to take over when he's done. Now, I'm in Ohio. My teacher is in Missouri. But I also have two other teachers that are in Missouri, too. So I have three different teachers. I have learned so much from all three of them. It, it's insane. Um, I, I can't even say what I've learned. It's just insane. Um, I, I don't make videos on, on that type of stuff for a good reason. Um, when it comes to that type of stuff, yes, I could make videos, but the problem is, is so much liability when it comes to that, mm -hmm. that it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. One of the only things that I equate that to is a lot of, uh, a guy that kind of joined our circles uh, shortly. 
Um, oh, jeez, what's his name? Um, he's been hanging around with N6, uh, is your six covered lately? Oh, X ring, X ring, yeah. X ring, yes, mm -hmm. exactly. That individual has a lot of knowledge and a lot of skills that the fact of the matter is really does not need to be out there for free information. Yeah, you, you got to be careful. And it's like, so one of the things that happens where I work is we teach the concealed carry class. And I happened to be in there yesterday, and they're talking about various different methods of what could be considered as deadly force. And they happened, someone happened to ask the question of, well, what if I punch someone? Well, I happened to stand, be standing in there, and I'm like, well, all right. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I can tell you with experience <laughs> – you know, I'm like, I'm not a gun teacher, but as a martial artist, you have to know this, 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 and this in order to do what you're just talking about. So, yeah, there's all kinds of videos I could make on that stuff, but I refuse to do it because there's so much liability. And when you get to the point like where I'm at and where my teacher's at and the other people that have taught me over the years, you, if you know enough, you literally have to be registered in the state you're in, which means you have to go to the local sheriff or the local chief of police and register. And I'm not trying to be smart ass. I'm not trying to show off when I say that, yes, technically I am registered as a deadly weapon. Because when you're trained to that point, you have to do that. That's part of what you do. Because if you do not, you can get in trouble. Hmm. So, again, like to my point when I was talking about what happened yesterday in the class, someone said, well, what if you do this and you punch someone? Well, here's the thing. You have to be able to describe from the point that it started to the point that it ended and why you did what you did oh. and every little everything in between. If you can't, if you cannot describe from the point from the beginning to the end, they're going to rape you in court. Well, well, can I say this? The average person, mm -hmm. the average person is not trained. Um, the average person that gets their CCW kind of goes through the CCW course and doesn't train, which sucks. They, if, if you're going to, if you're going to, you should train. And, and even if you don't take training, you should at least shoot twice a month to make sure you can do it, train yourself, whatever. But um, when it comes to the martial arts, um, yeah, it gets kind of shady. Now um, we got to, we got to look at this from a different aspect. Um, you know, it's it's like Sam Colt made them equal. Um, you, you take a little person that doesn't matter, man, woman, little person, um, big person. You, you, you see where I'm coming from. So, um, you know, saying, you know, a martial artist. Um, yes, the, I studied it. I, I, I hope I remember some of it. And I'm pretty sure that, and this is the thing, you see. Like everything else starts kicking in, all of it comes back. Now, if I try to do what I used to do, I could probably do it. If I didn't get hit, I'm probably going to go, ah, all that hurt because I did this or that. And it, the point is, is uh, you can't. How can you uh, look? You're going to say, you're a deadly weapon. What? I'm a person. Well, shit. If I pick up a pencil, that's a deadly weapon. You know what I mean? So mm. it's a fine, stupid line. You know what I mean? It's well, like... And, and that's ah. the thing. you got to be you got to be careful with how you present it. And, and, and that's one <laughs> reason why I don't do videos on this stuff is because you got to be, be very, very careful how you present it what you talk about 
and what it is and so on and so forth. And so like yesterday in the class, it's kind of like, well, yes, technically I can kill someone with a punch if I hit them in the right spot. But yep. I'm not going to tell you how to do that. So we got to kind of leave it here and be like, no, we can't do this. This is how you have to do this, 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 and this, and so on and so on. And we're going to end it there. Yeah. You know, well, you it's know, the sad thing is, is uh, it doesn't take a lot of training to know how to kill somebody with one strike. And you could teach somebody that one strike. And yeah, it's it's not that hard. I mean, it, it, it's it's not hard. And and here's the thing is one of the, one of the biggest things that comes up is and yes, we're all drinking, but don't take this the wrong way to anyone that's watching and fucking laugh, fucking call us off for drinking, whatever. I don't give a shit. No. Someone who is drunk is your worst enemy. Because they don't feel a goddamn thing. <laughs> well, you know how many you know you know how many crashes, car crashes that people survived that because they were drunk and so relaxed and their oh, yeah. body didn't and even that's it. it. It relaxes yeah. you to the point where you will survive. You can get through anything. So as as stupid yeah. as it sounds, as dumb as it sounds, the 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 people that have gone to that point and get in the fight are usually the ones that survive the fight. That's well, one of the things, all I can say. One of the things about being a bouncer that's so tough is because there's these guys that have been in the club half the night. They've been getting hammered. And they just don't really feel the pain, more or less. Their adrenaline's pumping, and it's pumping at a level to where they can actually do things that they wouldn't normally be able to do sober. Yeah, and and, and that's it. I've I've done this for years. I mean, years. And I was a bouncer at one point back home, and. It's insane. Some of the stuff you'll deal with. And shit, I wasn't even fucking paid. I got paid drinking beer. That's what I got paid in. I literally got paid to kick people off by drinking beer. And <laughs> that's yeah, what it was. It, that sounds like my son. <laughs> it was a free gig where I got free beer. I kicked people off. I got free beer. And so I'm standing there with my buddy, and we're both kicking these guys off. But you know, you get the one asshole every now and then that's got so fucking far up there and he starts swinging. He doesn't feel anything. <laughs> Not a fucking thing. You got to know how to deal with that. My cousin, he was a bouncer for a few years and uh, he was in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And he actually did some of the like tough man contests and shit around here. But yeah, he was saying the same thing. That's why they just choke them out. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, could, I could not tell you how many people I tossed out of the bar over the years. I mean, it, it, it's ridiculous how many people I threw out. Well, and when you deal with a lot of the political aspects of it and the legal aspects of it, it makes it a lot more difficult. Um, for a very short amount of time, I did serve as a bouncer. And later on, much later on, I was dealing with developmentally disabled adults that really had absolutely no clue what was going on. And, mm -hmm. and so the rules of the game were completely changed. And so these individuals with almost superhuman strength um, would be coming at you and and so you know being able to um figure out what's going on legally at the same time of being able to stop this individual from hurting themselves or hurting someone else was very difficult yeah and, and it's funny you bring that up like 
my my teacher my main teacher is a musician and uh for the longest time when i was out there he would go play and i would go and i'd support him and i would be part of the security team and that might sound funny but seriously i was part of security team that's what it was i would carry the shit in all the all the gear and i'd stand there and i'd fucking listen to the music and i'd know you were a roadie you were a roadie. You were a roadie. I'd have one, two beer tops. I've been there. And it's been funny. You were a roadie. I'm standing there and I'm watching everything else going on around and making sure that no one does anything stupid that they shouldn't fucking do. And yes, Armin and Axis, yes, technically I was a roadie, but security, security roadie, same security fucking Security roadie, yes. I, I've done it. I, I was a security roadie too. So. You know, it's but you, you do what you do, you know, and it was part of what I did as a Udishi. That's part of was part of what I did because that's just how it was. Um, Udishi kind of covers a whole branch of different things, and unfortunately, is part of that. And I jumped in and did that shit too. Um, you guys see, you know, I have all these tattoos and that. And my all my tattoos. Are martial arts related for a good reason. That's majority of who I am. Um, you know, uh, Armin and Axis brought it up earlier, but Bushido. Um, Bushido is. If if you don't know what Bushido is, go look it up. Go yeah. look at look at Five Rings. Go look at. Um, you know. All these different books that are out there. Um, it's a code. It's a code. It's a code. It's it's a way of life. And, and honestly, it, you don't have to be a diehard person to understand this. But when you look at the Bushido code, in in what it says, now you know you're not a martial artist. You don't. But look at the Bushido code and read what it says about honor and discipline and respect and you really we mm -hmm. talked about this in the last podcast i mean it just the bushido code it's 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 a lot of the golden rule it really is do unto others respect them they should respect you it's and, not and, um, i'm gonna i'm gonna flaunt my power and a reason no it's not it's it's a way of it's a, honestly it's a humble way of life and, and that's it. And, it's a, and that's it. if if you guys can understand even way of life going. Yeah. If you can, if you guys can understand even just a small piece of that, then you'll understand who I am as a person. Well, yeah. I have I have a totally different problem. Being four foot eleven, a woman that looks like a guy. People think that they could just come over, pick that fight. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I found? This little foreigner that, that they you could just what? pick on. And then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. I, I think there's that look, that one look that you can get, that, that you just have about you, then they back off. Oh yeah, I've 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 and, and that's it. You, you you have to develop that. Like for myself, you know, if I don't have a beard, it, shit don't fly. It, it no, no, fly. it doesn't because you look like you're twelve. Yeah, I, I have to have <laughs> it. And, <laughs> and, 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 but, but here's the thing, no, seriously, when <laughs> when I have the beard, if I give that one specific look, people back the fuck off. They well, yeah, oh, you know, a 12-year-old looking at you like that would scare anybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, you know, I'm, thing, like I'm it, normally... You know, in, in tax situation, she just has to have that particular look and make sure she is determined in what she is doing and that right. person will back off. Right. Well, body because, language, you know, body I, language like said, also has a tack. I'm telling you, body language has a lot to do with that as well. Yeah. And, well, and you know, AOK is AOK is like she's she's like, you know, I go uh, out in public. Uh, 
Like when I go to the store, okay. Ed, Ed, real quick, you know my I'm surroundings. Sorry, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, Phil has to jump out. Um, Phil, would you like to do an yeah. outro, brother? Yeah. Hey, thanks for having me again. Uh, appreciate it. And I just want to mention that there are at least two ass hats out there that gave a thumbs down. I think I know who one of them was. It got put in a timeout. So, you know. Yes. Yeah, that yeah. ass hat can go fuck himself and suck it. Yeah. Uh, make another comment, motherfucker, and I'll ban your ass. Well, you know what? Hey, ass hat, you still um, were here, so that's all that matters. I mean, you still gave us that. <laughs> You time. And if I don't ban you, one of my other fucking ranches will, because I got a shit ton of motherfuckers. So, fuck <laughs> you. and and that ass hat has already been banned. Um, oh, thank yeah. you, Phil. I greatly appreciate you jumping in, man. Oh, you man. are an awesome staple here at Fort and, yeah, and you guys Take care. Thank you so much, and Phil, for all your support, uh, guys. Phil. Phil, you got my and, number, dude. Uh, send me a message of what you want on your class, and I'll get it all out right. to you, brother. Sounds good. I'll talk to you all later. Have a good okay, one until we meet again. Good night. Take care, right, Phil. Man, you too. Good night. Thanks, Phil. Love the shirt. <laughs> mm. um, we also have the one, the only, Alex. Outlaw. The outlaw. The Hatfield. Yes. He the, jumped in. We ain't let him the, talk yet. Shut so, up. I'm talking. Asshole, I'm talking. Shut the fuck up. Okay, <laughs> I did. <laughs> we have the one, the only, the Alice, the outlaw, the motherfucker, the westerner, the son of a bitch. The, oh, hold on. It's Alice. Hi, Alice. The outlaw Hatfield. <laughs> there you go. Are, are, are you fuckers done? <laughs> no, I wasn't quite done yet. Well, keep going. I'm listening. And by the way, there is absolutely no proof that I fucked that mother. None whatsoever. It doesn't <laughs> exist. Um, all, all I gotta say is, Alice, um, what do you want in your glass? Do you want an MS-13 or an AK-47? AK-47. <laughs> oh, you suck. Oh man, Whatever. you can't you can't go American with the MS thirteen. I mean, <laughs> really, the MS thirteen man, go American. You know what? If he if he wants the AK forty seven, that's fine. I'll put the AK forty seven on there. But when I put his name on there, I'll put bitch below it. Go <laughs> <laughs> right ahead. Go right ahead. Uh, just hey, just put his channel name as the Law Abiding Hatfield. No, no, that'll be the law abiding bitch. Hey, what's wrong with the AK 47? Wow. There ain't nothing <laughs> wrong with the AK 47. There ain't nothing wrong there. with the AK 47. It's just they would need something to bitch the about. Standard, the standard is the MS 13. So, you know, he, he's gone with the AK 47. He's going to get outlaw hat <sighs> the bitch underneath it. All I can say is you all can bitch about the AK 47, but. It is the easiest. Um, look, I live by the AK-47 philosophy that the less moving parts, the better. The less to go wrong, the better. And they just work. They just work. Yeah. I got a Mac yeah, 90. No, and they, that, they're, they're, they're an awesome gun. I've never had a problem with them. Hey, Scotsman. So. Scotsman, can I get my 32 special? <laughs> Oh, what is that? Is that a lever gun? Lever what action 32 that? special. Nice. That thing. So oh, I ran across. Is that I a Winchester? Ran... Yes, Winchester. Hey, hey, Tack, if you're going to show it off, you got to talk before that? you show it off. So talk and show it off. Right there. Right there. <laughs> so I, I, I ran across seven guns for 400 bucks. And this was one of them. So you bought seven guns for $400? Yes, and this was one of them. Then I got a Springfield shotgun. I got a few. Uh, I got a 44 shot gun. 44 what? Yeah, before they went to the 410, they made a 44. Well, that's oddball. All I can say is how many guns you got for $400? Four guns for $400? Yeah. 
No, seven guns for four hundred. Oh Christ! Well, okay, four hundred dollars, seven guns. I don't care what they are; they're probably worth four hundred dollars. Um, I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna throw something out there real fast. Um, if you fuck around on my channel, I will ban you, and someone was just banned because Alan stepped up to the plate, and none of my other ranchers stepped up to the plate, so I took care of it. But guys. Keep an eye on that chat, because trust me, if you fuck around here, I will ban your ass. Okay, I, I've been here. I haven't been in doing the YouTube. I guess I better go over here and look at who's being stupid. Gosman, I'm trying, but I just don't know how to do all that yet. No, you're good. I, I have plenty of wrenches out there, but okay. no one did their job. No one did their job. Hey, I, I, I've, been I, I've been busy bullshitting, so... You know, <laughs> I'm back in the chat. That's all right. I just took care of it. But guys, you have ranches. Take care of the problem. That is your job. You have ranches for a reason. Well, he SA was one of the ones that donated there. I'm just saying. I, to play devil's advocate. Well, he said he donated. You don't know for sure he did. Yeah, but he was being an asshole, so... Well, I didn't get so, to see his comments, so I don't know. And no, the other he, guy out there, he, he, I don't know. He stepped, he stepped over the fucking plate, dude. I'm not going to take that shit over here. Okay, well, I didn't <laughs> see it. And the other guy that did get banned, it's hard to tell because a lot of us are dicks. And I didn't know if he was just joking around like the rest of us or what. And apparently he did because he got his ass banned. He got he his ass him. fucking handed to him, I believe, by Vanessa Kitty. Yeah, I, I think Vanessa Kitty did. Yeah, Good job, Vanessa. Yeah, Vanessa. There, there's a reason people have wrenches, guys. Don't fuck around, dude. They will fucking ban your ass. Well, That's what they're there for. Vanessa, cheers. Thanks for cheers, catching. Vanessa, thank you. Vanessa yeah. thank you. And uh, Vanessa, thank you for your service once again. It is that time. And guys, um, for anyone that is watching right now, it is 12 a.m. Eastern Time. So, oh. happy Memorial Day. And, uh, guys, remember the fallen. Um, to those that have served, to those that do serve, and to anyone out there that has stepped up to the plate, I thank you. Everyone here thanks you. And Slanjiva. Salangeva. It's because of those people that we can live the lives that we live. Yep. Yep. That's why we're here. Why we're doing this. Why we have the free we have to do what we're doing right now. So on that note, can I can I ask for a tribute for my father that is part of the 22? Um, you know, without without his service, I wouldn't be here in America. I wouldn't be the biggest American love person ever because, you know, I, I just feel like this country gave me everything I am and who I am. So, um, yeah, thanks for everyone that served. Thanks for everyone that gave everything. Hey, okay. Where are you? Uh, were you born here? A okay. No, I was not born here. My father served on the American side during the Vietnam War. So yeah. it was either yeah. we all get executed or we come to America. And my dad said, America it is. Um, I'm going to jump out real quick. I have someone that needs a link. He's in the side chat. So hang tight. Um, I hope to God you're sending it to Zorro. Hold on. A-okay. -A okay <laughs> you're in charge. <laughs> Look um, out. Not a good idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong well, idea. If, if you're in charge, can you please tell Alan to put a fucking shirt on? <laughs> no, I like that. I don't know. If I'm oh, in charge, I'm like, you know, you, you, I'm pretty sure... Hold on, I'm gonna stop you because I said Tack was in charge, so Outlaw, shut the fuck up. 
Okay. Wow. So if I'm in charge, hey. I, I'm going to have to go to the opposite of Allah and say, Alan, take off your shirt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, I have been drinking tequila this evening. So and we're going to end this live stream right oh, here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Here. Oh, here. Oh, here. God. Oh, God. All right. Oh, Thank you, eyes. Alan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good God. Hey. Oh, my God. I'm blocking my eyes. <laughs> See, what hey. happens. See what happens when you let somebody in charge that's not me. Come on. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I mean, AOK's in We're charge. Gonna... What can I say? Hey, Scotsman, since when did you let a Yeti on this damn chat? <laughs> <laughs> Alan? Uh, it'd take five gallons of Nair to get that shit off you. I gotta go bleach my eyes, and I'll be back later. <laughs> um, Alan? I, Alan, I can say this. Um... Thank God I'm not taking my shirt off on camera because I got a dog vest, dude. I am the all my hair migrated from the top of my head where I didn't want it. I yeah, back from it. I'm a I hairy know, motherfucker. Got that. <laughs> I, I won't commend you on the wife shit. beater though. The wife beater. Love the wife beater. <laughs> Thanks, What's well, even worse is when you put it on backwards because you've been drinking <laughs> Patron all night. And you did it. It's done wrong to get off the hot wax. <laughs> oh, ain't nobody hot waxing me nowhere. I'm no, no you know, something. I, it, I, it, I've gotten to the point. I, I don't give a shit about vanity. I've gotten to the point where if it's hairy enough to be a pain in the ass, you just take the goddamn trimmers out and buzz it off and keep going. Cause yeah, I could give Somebody a shit about looking good anymore. Yeah. I'm sorry. I I'm a hairy motherfucker. <laughs> Anyway, oh, a night strike for some reason. I don't doubt that at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what have I yep. gotten myself into? Vanessa, tonight? after all your years of service, you still want to do a hot wax on him? Man, she must have a lot of free time. <laughs> well, I, I, and I tell you what, I've been in live chats with Vanessa, and Vanessa's a great, great character. I dig her a lot, um, and and I probably would be interested in all that if I wasn't currently uh, occupied. We'll say. All right, moving on. Well, um, thank you. We'll move on, Zorro. You have a link, Zorro. Get your fucking ass in here, dude. Um, no. What's up, Zorro? Don't fucking tell Zorro no. I'll kick your ass out of here. <laughs> Zorro has a fucking leg. So hey, hey. Zorro's the no, fucking man. No step on Zorro, damn it. No step on Zorro, one eyed snack. Yeah, you step on Zorro, I boot your ass out of here. <laughs> yeah, actually, we we were in a chat like last Sunday with him. So anyway, I I ain't booting nobody. I'm just chilling, having fun. Zorro is pretty cool. Uh, night strike, you got a link too, man. I fucking emailed you like hours ago, asshole. And and speak, and you shall receive. We shall get night strike one. What's going on, guys? What's up? There he is. Oh, I, I hear thank night God. Strike. Janice Gay finally night strike. back on. I mean, don't What's you up, don't buddy? you just love it when when you know, nice you've got stripping live on YouTube? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Alan was stripping live. I told you, um, Scotsman, not to put me in charge, but you had to do it. Um, I, I'm gonna say this, um, Beck. You will never, ever, ever, ever be in charge again. <laughs> See? Well, it might help if you said my name right. Oh, God oh. fucking damn it. <laughs> God, <laughs> as far as I know, the last time he put someone in charge other than you 
was me, and I did a great job. So I don't know. If <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure I sent something pretty fucking awesome in the mail. So I'm pretty sure that qualifies for every fuck up I ever said about your damn name. So I know he keeps calling me Thack, and it's Thack, Tack. God damn it, Tack! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I've, I've noticed this because it was spelled in the side chat T H A C K, but it's actually TAC, like T A C K. Hey, Monty, I didn't spell it when I came to America. Uh -huh. All right, so hold on, stop, stop. For anyone else speaks, how do you spell it? It is spelled T H A C K, but it's pronounced T A C K. So I fucking said it right. You just fucking said I was wrong. So what the no, fuck? No, you said it wrong. You said fact with a th. I fucking spelled it right. God damn you it! You spelled it right, but you said it wrong. <laughs> so so it's tack. <laughs> it is tack. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> What's, what's uh, people, people, people. I'm sorry, but <laughs> and moving on. Alice, Alice, what's going on, man? Uh, not a damn thing. I'm wondering if I came to the right rabbit hole tonight, but <laughs> all right. Well, oh, it's, it's, um, it, it, it's a rabbit. Hole. It's a rabbit hole. I don't know if it's the right one or not. Nice strike. What's going on, asshole? Not much. Just chilling. <laughs> God damn. You're all fucking born in the shit. Chilling. What the fuck? It's hey, been hey. raining here for like two I fucking was... weeks. What do you expect me to say it's new? I've been able to go outside and shoot for an entire week. That's that's um, pretty, Zorro, damn, that's pretty in, damn depressing. Right, shut up, man. shut up, shut up. Zorro, it's in your YouTube PM. YouTube PM. And you expect him to know how to get to that? Oh god. Hold on a minute. I will send you a link to your email, Zorro. I'm a forward to one, please do. God damn it. Yeah, god damn. Am I, am I the only one in here? fucking goddamn link? Man, Am I the only because one we we need Zorro me? up in this place. Zorro, check your email. Zorro. I just sent you the link. All right, and uh, while we still have a decent amount of viewers before this goes to completely the fucking hell, um, oh, you guys, already lasted this long. Please, please, please check the description, and if you can, jump over and help out Scotty M nineteen fifty uh, fifty nine. Um, he's a good brother of mine. Uh, I consider that man a family. He needs to get to Florida. He needs 3500 bucks to do it. So if you can donate, please donate something. Uh, the email that's in the description goes direct to his PayPal. So please send that. Help him out if you can. Yeah, I apologize for my pronunciation in the side chat, but the uh, the email is in the side chat for Scotty M. Scotty M is a great dude out in our community, and he really does need our help. Yeah, I came late to the party. What, what's going on with him? Um, his wife is it's not confirmed yet, but she may have MS. Um, also, his mother-in-law has a lot of other issues going on health-wise, too. And so, basically, he's in New Jersey, and he needs to get to Florida. And in order to do that, he needs to get a pod um, for the cost of the pod and everything else. Moving-wise, for him to get there, we're looking about 3500 bucks. Okay. So I set up the email for him for his um, PayPal. So if you send him something through that email, it's going to go right to his PayPal. And every little bit helps. So 
this guy served our country um, back in 80 to 84. He was 11 Bravo. Um, so, guys, if you don't know what that was, pretty much he was infantry. Um, but he fucking was on the line and took care of business. So that's all you need to know. He was a badass motherfucker. He stepped up and did what needed to be done. Uh, with that being said, we do have another good friend of mine and someone else I consider a good brother. Zoro, what's up, motherfucker? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good, brother. What's going on, dude? Nothing. Just this is my first well weekend without with when school's over. So I'm I'm done right now. I start well, doing. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. congratulations. I hope everything turned out. <laughs> As you expected. I hope so, too. I just need to wait until mid-June to find out my test results, but I'm done, and I can do live streams now, which is all, right. all, all I heard was results. What was the word before that? I hope I get my results, and I would probably do YouTube videos after this. Like, live no, 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 no. That's not what I said. You, said. you said results, but before that, you said another word. What was that word? I don't get it. We're, we're all listening for that word that you said before results. What freedom? What what word? I don't I don't know. Zorro, I have a question for you. He's making a joke. You said freedom, but the problem is you live in California, of which you oh, have no freedom. Oh, I, I see. Yes, my, yeah, I'm, I'm a communist. Yeah. No, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not a communist. Oh, no, you're, you're not a communist. Very free. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's very simple. All you have to do is go. Freedom! Alan. Freedom! That was awesome, Alan. I'm, I'm actually going to give Alan credit because he actually did a good damn fucking job. So That was know? awesome. Oh, I love on. it. A everybody give Alan a hand. Be careful what fire. hand you give Alan. Um, Zorro. Yeah. Did you get your swords unpacked? No, I did not. I was too busy. You asshole. I can get one out right now. One. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, Zoro, we're done, dude. You're out of here. I'm gonna I'm fucking kicking your ass out. You're done. What the fuck? Did I miss You're something? Done, did You're you fucking done. done. My Glock okay. or Scotsman hey. easy. Come on, man. Just cause Dude, he, no, he's he fucking, he fucking he, he didn't meet the obligations, man. He just fucked up, man. He fucked up. He fucked up. How'd he fuck up? Because he didn't have time to get his sword out. I mean Exactly. Whip that he, shit out, no. man. I'm ready to go. He hang it. Whoa, 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 whoa. In order in order to have this complete. We have to have a dump check. And so All the right. first All thing right. that I've got stop, tonight stop, is... Stop, 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 stop. Before you do that, um, tack, tack, tack. That's the bill. Tack. So, um, tack, what do you got? I got the CZ-75. 32 Special Winchester. Oh, my God. I guess it is. Well, in, in, well, in honor of the Scotsman, Glock 19. You're an asshole. Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> we're we're going to go Good ahead night, and... Uh, awesome. Thank you all for having me. Good here. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank right, you for being night. here. Hey. Alan, I'll, I'll get a hold of you. I thank you, Tack. I appreciate that. I see you soon, lady. Much love, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Did I redeem myself now? I Zorro! My, I have my breath. I see Zorro. I actually see some video, even though I don't put... I, I could turn my camera on, but then you'd be... <laughs> Which breath is that? I need to FS. Yeah, she have. I'm, I'm surprised you can own that. You are now welcomed. 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a, minute. Wait a fucking goddamn fucking oh, shut minute. The fuck up. <laughs> Is that fucking 92 loaded? Yes. It better fucking be. Of course or it else is. It's not safe. Always one in the chamber, dude. Always. 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 Don't you see that look? Oh. I, I would tell you that there's one in the Monster chamber, guy. but I'm pretty sure yeah, that so the fully loaded, loaded magazine tells you there's one in the chamber. Because um, if I rack it, obviously there wouldn't be one in the chamber. Um, but yes, this is uh, safe. Very, very safe. So don't pull the oh, trigger yeah. and blow out your the camera. Ruger 19 <laughs> is currently safe. Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh, I'm going to turn uh, my wait, camera wait, on. Wait, just oh, yeah, that Ruger 9E is safe. The American <laughs> favorite. It's a rarity. I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn my, my camera <laughs> on because he. Is, is that before or after the robotic? Is that safe? I, I don't know. I, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. I bet you could look down in the barrel and see. Oh, okay. Is that safe? Hi, peeps. <laughs> well, I don't own a gun, so. <laughs> what you don't own a gun? No, I what? Don't no. Own a gun. See, here's the thing. I I don't own a gun either. I own freedom. You know what? I I, I own have, some guns. And, I have no firearms. I, I lost them all in a boating accident. That's what I was gonna I, tell you, man. I I, I honestly, all, all, all my guns like, were lost in the Great Lakes. I I went out on if we're gonna go to Canada and go hunting, and I took all my guns, and we top. Uh, capsized and all my guns are at the bottom of Lake Erie somewhere. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I I have absolutely no guns. No I guns. No MS 13. I have no MS 13. Freedom looks like 147 grains of fuck you. No. Yeah. Freedom looks like 185 grains of 45 ACP. No, freedom looks like 230 grains of 45 ACP, and I love it. Night strike, I love it. 230 yeah. grains. 230 grains. Okay, um, just wait till my gun shows up here in a couple of days, and we'll talk. 230. There we go. Look, I'm going to tell you this. As much as people, oh, the 45 ACP, look. It killed a lot of people, and it's a 230 grain bull and going at like 800 feet per second, and that's slow. I had a BB gun that did 710 feet per second. But itty bitty bit, itty bitty BB. Does this I've count as a gun? A two <laughs> I've been testing I mean, some. Uh, I mean, really, I have a mass mass respect for the 45 ACP, but the fact of the matter is, is the 10 millimeters better? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, you know, you know, Alan. Um, I have been craving a pistol. I didn't see the 10 millimeter go through two world wars. Uh, with, with, uh, <laughs> with, with the 45 ACP, I've been testing some ammo I've got. I've, I ordered some more. But uh, this Liberty Civil Defense, it's uh, 78 grains, 45 ACP, 1,900 FPS. There you go. <laughs> Fuck you, Scotsman. <laughs> All I'm going to say is 1,900 FPS is slow. Then I'd like to see you stand in front of it. Now, uh, uh, all, all I'm going to say is uh, 10 millimeter fucking rolls, baby. Well, I'll tell you what, Scotsman. You can buy me one. I'll take a Colt Delta Elite. Thank you. I would love me a Colt Delta Elite. A what? Colt Delta uh, Elite. I'm I'm, I'm, sorry, no, no, I'm sorry. I had Patron speech at the moment. My, yeah, yeah, at low, I understood when you said it. It was, was when Val or uh, when Jaden said it on here. A Colt Dell Elite. I just bought another gun, so yeah, I'm kind of fucked. So, so that oh, means oh, you motherfucker! You better not have picked up a fucking Delta Elite. Oh, I picked up something even sweeter. 
I'd oh, like 20. You fucking cocksucker. Hey, Scotsman, that damn high point C9 shouldn't have set you back that much. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I literally, and since you're going to be an asshole, I'll be an asshole too. I literally could have bought 10 high points for what I fucking paid for this gun. But, but oh, the, que- the question is, how many him asshole, man? I want to fucking know what it is. He's probably yeah, going to do a video on have it. to wait for the box opening. Well, oh. Scotsman already... <clears throat> Scotsman knows what my next gun's going to be, don't you, Scotsman? I do. And I'm actually proud of you for doing that because you were looking at something else and it was a piece of shit. So, good job, brother. What is it? Which gun were you looking at? It's a gun that goes bang and you pull the trigger. Yeah, oh, I, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You <laughs> oh, oh, so you're getting the block? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. I, I no, said it no, went I, bang, and I, it's, it's not a complete on, piece I, of I'm shit. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of the Outlaw Hatfield. Ellis did a good job. Now yeah, this is up, now this is a major, major precedence for the Scotsman to say that he's proud of the Outlaw. The <laughs> fact of the matter is, is he had to have done something major. He, he stepped up and spent more money than he should have and did a good damn job. So I'm proud of the man. Good he man. Good, job. good man. Good man. I, I, I applaud the outlaw. You know, he, I don't like he, he was going to buy he that bad, but I mean. And he uh, oh, okay. 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 Ellis, you're going to have to tell me yeah. like on a text, yeah. via text what you got. And why would I tell you? Because we're family. <laughs> That don't mean shit to me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Is that how I get treated? Hey, my family fought each other for damn near 50 years. You reckon I'm worried about you? Uh, I was gonna 50 say, years is more like 100 years, but that's what's that's Oh, luck, man. Now, just, just for those that don't know the history, what was the reason for the outlaw... Wars, basically. Was it a pig? Hold on, hold on. Now you're talking about the Hatfield McCoy feud, right? Yeah. The Hatfield oh, okay, McCoy I'm gonna, is I'm, fought I'm, over a pig. Is that no, hold on, hold on. Let not, me let me let me totally, set it up for you. Not totally. It, the, the, it was about a woman and a pig, and in the end, they both got eight. Okay. Yeah. Don't think too much into that one. <laughs> Screw you, Scotsman. <laughs> and they're thinking real hard about it because they have no clue. I got it. Yeah, I, got I know it you right did. You it. I mean, ultimately, it was over a pig, was it not? It was over a woman and a pig, and in the end, they both got eight. I just said well, that. Wasn't it over <laughs> some land, too? Yeah. There was some land involved. There's some land involved. There's always land involved. Well, is that just the land that the pig was on, or what the fuck? Pretty much. It's all right. Um, it's it's. You have to remember this thing started long before the blowout that y'all knew about. <laughs> It'd been going right. on for Assholes. years before that. Assholes. We are way past our time, so we are gonna go ahead and end this. What? I'm gonna start you. with the one, the only. Zorro, you mean the boss of us, my friend, my brother? What's up, guys? I'm going to start putting out more live streams, and I hope everyone joins. But subscribe to me, Zorro One One Seven, Ala Hatfield, Nice Strike, Crazy Scotsman, Armor Men and Axes, and Allen B Pro, and Mo- Mosey. Uh, oh you, yeah, you just you just plugged everybody in the fucking room, dude. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Um, the Outlaw Hatfield, Alice, brother. What's up, man? Um, thanks for the invite, Alan. Go fuck yourself. And no, Scotsman, <laughs> have a great night, brother. Thanks for the link. Absolutely. And as long as you keep telling Alan go fuck himself, you're always welcome. Alan, go wow. fuck yourself. Wow. And moving on. Oh, uh, speaking nice of, strike. Hold on, hold on. Speaking of fucking yourself, me and Scotsman came up with something for you the other night. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Something very special that we're working on picking up for you. Uh, okay. Right, moving on. Nice strike. <laughs> uh, you know what? All, all I'm going to say is help out that guy that uh, Scotsman wants you to help out. And uh, just check out my channel on YouTube. There we go. Hit or miss, Tuesday nights at nine. Rock on. Yep. Uh, nice strike. Thank you, man. I appreciate that very much. Mossy, what's up, brother? Man, thanks for sending me a link. I know I haven't been on. I think I've only been on your chat on Sunday night like once or twice. It just, man, having to work Sunday, it's hard to come on here. So <clears throat> appreciate you having me on. It's been a blast. Got to meet uh, a bunch of people. That I don't normally get a chance to meet. I've got a, I've subbed to quite a few people, and I've got quite a few more people uh, with their channels. I've opened up a tab for a bunch of people here. I got to go through probably when I'm sober and sub them. Uh, man, just thanks for having me on. Thanks for everybody in the side chat. It's been fun. That's. That's about it. I have uh, I got a few videos I got to get put out soon. That's about it. All right. Yeah. Right. Uh, real quick, Alan just uh, posted the email out there again in the chat for Scott. Um, guys, please, if you can, donate, help Scott out. Um, I'm working on some other things, as you guys know. Like Alan said at the beginning of this chat. I'm a crazy motherfucker, and I'll think of something else, and there'll be some crazy fucking shit that comes out, and you'll jump on it, just as you always do, because you guys are awesome, um, but in the meantime, please jump over, if you can, help you out, send him some money, and let him know if you guys are there, and support him and his family, um, it's huge, and I appreciate it very much, and I can tell you right now, from the bottom of my black fucking soulless heart that yes scotty also appreciates it so thank you thank you thank you and uh armament and access what you got man well i can say this as much as you say my blacklist soulless heart uh, i I'll, I'll i'll tell everybody out there it's a front because he's not got a blacklist soulless heart he's got a very good heart and it, He's he's a tough dude. He's a tough guy. But all of us, we we all lead the we're 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 strong, tough guys, but we have a good heart. And I can tell you this about the Scotsman. That dude's got a good heart. He's he's I I've seen it so many times over and over. He's trying to help that uh, the first time I saw it was uh Mr. Holster. And I've seen it three times since then, and it's just Yep. Good good dude. Um other than that, uh we're gonna shoot tomorrow, Scotty. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna up. get up. We're gonna blow shit up. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, brother. We, we are we are gonna exercise our right of freedom, brother. <laughs> you betcha. All right, man. I'm out. I'm I'm still here, but I'm I'm out in the thing and All right. thanks for well, everybody. Uh, Everybody being in the chat tonight, and I had fun. And uh, Alan B. Pro, my brother from another mother, dude. What's up, man? Well, thanks again, Scotsman. I We've had an absolutely phenomenal chat tonight. We've had an illustrious panel. Um, I thank everybody that jumped in. I thank everybody that jumped in the side chat again. Uh, the uh, email for uh, Scott is in the side chat. Please help out. I mean, the dude is one of the appreciated people, people out here in the side chat. Again, thank you all. Been a Patron night for me. I appreciate everybody out there. Thank you very much. Keep your magazines loaded and one in the chamber. All right, guys. And uh, with that, I thank you again. 
um, please check the link below if you didn't see it in the side chat check the link below in the description and help Scotty out and guys thank you very much and uh, to all that have served to all that are here and to all that have fallen thank you thank you thank you thank and you Salante cheers cheers in a moment of silence, we're out of here because a moment of silence for all that have fallen. Absolutely. Moment of silence, I agree. Yep. Um, Scotsman, I'd like to say one more thing. To the two people that gave this chat a thumbs down, fuck you. I, I I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna jump in real quick and say yes. If you thumb this down, fuck you. Go fuck yourself and eat a bowl of fucking dicks. And while you're at it, go fuck yourself again. And while yeah. you're at that, go tell the fucking veteran that you thumb this down that you don't give a shit. Yeah. Well, you know that honestly. Meantime, that since we were in the middle of. A moment of silence. We're going to go back to a moment of silence. So everyone shut the fuck up and let's have a moment of silence. Yep. Thank you all. In this moment of silence, I cannot hear, I cannot help but hear taps. Seriously, y'all been to a military funeral? I've been to so many of them. And what do you hear? Taps. And it, is that not the thing that almost brings you to tears is when you hear taps? Yeah. Brings me to tears every single time I hear it. Yep. All right. We're going to try this one more time. Guys, please. Minute of silence. That means everyone, please shut the fuck up. All right, guys. Thank you very much for uh, joining us on this chat. I appreciate everyone in the side chat, everyone that jumped in and uh, was a part of this. Um, thank you all. And a big, big, huge thank you to all that have served, all that have fallen. And once again, um, if you guys would please turn your cameras on and we will do a toast to those that have done the ultimate sacrifice. Give me a second. Give me a second. I think it's on. There it is. So, to those that paid the ultimate sacrifice to the side slopes a long ago, we appreciate you all. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. See that? Yep. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. All 
All right, guys. Uh, with that, we are going to go ahead and end this. And um, a big thank you to everyone that showed up. And please, um, all I'm going to say once more before we jump out of here is please check the uh, email in the description. And it's been put up in the side chat a few times, but in the description as well. If you can, donate. Help out Scotty. Uh, Scotty is a very good brother of ours. Gone through a lot of trouble at the moment. So please help him out. It is much, much appreciated. So thank you. And with that, guys, have a great weekend. Enjoy your Memorial Day. And uh, cheers. Salud. He's still.